Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Spartan Stadium, where it's homecoming tonight, and the Lima Senior Spartans welcome in the Toledo Rogers Rams. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook, alongside Darren Gilbert and our entire WSN crew. And, Gilly, we take a look at these Lima Senior Spartans. They're putting up video game numbers, Gilly, national numbers. You look at Jeanette, the, the, the quarterback is number one in the nation in yards achieved. They've got receivers all over the place. It's a lot of fun here at Senior High. Well, it, you know, it's a lot like sandlot ball. You get it to your athletes, and you get to let your play makers make the plays for you and it's been very successful you know for them and that's why they're sitting six and oh our quarter sponsor tonight is lima chevy cadillac the area's premier chevy and cadillac dealer in the greater lima area serving lima for over 100 years we are proud to call this home and our presenting sponsor is also lima chevy cadillac they are proud to call this home so gilly toledo rogers comes in they're two and four two and one in the toledo city athletic league now here's what they do gilly they run the football and they run it effectively if they can keep the spartan offense off the field tonight they got a shot well it's got to be time management you know like you just said they've got the number one and number three running back right now in the conference uh speaking of uh mr i'm taking a look here sean cannon who's number one rushing it a little under eight yards a carry with seven touchdowns. And Kyir McAllister is number three in the league with a little under 425 yards at 8.8 .8 per tote and also five touchdowns. It's homecoming here tonight, Gilly, and the queen is Kyasia Jones. She has been crowned queen here before the game, and Kalik Walsh is the king. So lots on the line here tonight. Lima Sr. comes in at 6-0, 2-0 in the Toledo City Athletic League. Gilly, they average 45.8 points a game. Defensively, they give up 17 points a game. Now, there's a lot to be said about the competition in the Toledo City League. Not a lot of stellar records to date, but, hey, anything's possible, right? Well, anything's possible. That's why you play the game and you prepare for the game. But like you said, you know, coming in, the opponents are 10, and uh, uh, Lima Senior's opponents are, are putting up a record of 10 and 35, uh, and you have to play the schedule you're dealt. But, uh, you know, it, it could go back to haunt Lima Senior in the long run come playoff time. I know he wants to finish in the top four, their, their program do, because they would host two home games. And if they don't get in that top four undefeated, you know, they'll get one host of a playoff game, then they'll have to go on the road. Sure, absolutely. So, Lima Senior wins the toss, and they will elect to go on offense first. So, we're getting ready for the kickoff here. Back deep for the Spartans, number 22, Karrion Davis. He is awaiting to the right side. And they've got number two, Jillian Webster up, but he's up all the way up. A little squib kick, and there's a flag, and I'm betting you're going to see an offside. No, they're going to say illegal procedure against the Rogers Rams. Interesting way to uh, yeah, it was a, start the game yeah, because kinda, normally yeah. it's the other team who wants to kick the ball on sides. So a beautiful night for football. <laughs> Unlike last week, Gilly, we sat down at Allen East and the rain and the wind and all kinds of issues. Well, you think? Tonight we got uh, low 70s temperatures on a beautiful sunset and a nice breeze blowing, and it's just a beautiful night for high school football. Now, with that being said, Gilly, you know it's coming. <laughs> you and I have sat in this booth a lot Shut over the years. Shut your mouth. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Sleet, snowstorms. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Hey, it's beautiful. You can't ask for anything better for what first weekend in October. Yeah, it's it's really really nice. No rain for the next ten days. So we'll uh, we'll kick it off again here for the Toledo Rogers as they squib kick that first one, and they're going to try it again. And Lima Senior bobbles the ball. It's on the ground, and uh, I believe Lima Senior recovered there. Boy, that was yeah, uh, really fortunate because he tried to pick the football up and make an advancement with it, with it, and he was very lucky to either him or his teammates to bounce on top of that football. So here comes the Spartans on offense. They are led by quarterback number eight. He is a 5'10", 155-pound junior, Janias Hall, on the season, 162 for 263 for 2,814 yards, Gilly, 36 touchdowns and only eight interceptions. They don't run the ball. It's matter-of-factly, they pass every down. They don't try to trick you. It's stop us, line up, and do the best you can. Well, and he's really good with his legs, too, so he's, he's capable of putting it on the uh, – you know, turf himself with his legs and, and advance that football so down the field. Hall's in the gun. He's got four wide to his right side and one to the left. He'll wait for the snap. Rodgers is in a 3-4 defense. Hall looks across the field. He's got his man out there. This is Boog Wilson. 
He'll get to the 50, and he'll take it down to about the 46-yard lines. Boog Wilson, what a year he's having, Gilly. He's the number one target of a haul. He is a six-foot senior, 170-pound, 46 receptions, 1,020 yards, and 13 touchdowns being recruited by several Division I schools. Yeah, he's a speedster. He's one of those burners out there on the perimeter. You gotta, you cannot you know, run stride for stride with him. You've got to give him a little bit of a cushion. So Rogers a little jumpy there, and nothing was called. And uh, the senior high kids, they thought that something was going to be called, but not, not a call. So here goes Hall in the gun. He awaits the snap. Second down and one. He'll throw it left side. He's got his man out there to the 30, to the 25, and he'll be taken out of bounds. Reception made by Boog Wilson. That's two in a row for the senior Wilson. Pushed out of the bounds there by Nakai Adams. So here goes senior high as they go to the hurry up offense. That's first down. Our first down sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Dolphins, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Here goes the Spartans again. Little flare pass to the right side. He'll go up the sidelines and reception and catch and run made by number four, Kalik Wash. You take a look at Kalik Wash on the season. 42 catches, 684 yards, six touchdowns. Gilly, they got a stable, a stable of wide receivers. You got thoroughbreds out there. You just throw it to them and let them do their work, don't you? <laughs> Tonight's red zone sponsor is Wapakoneta Ford. View our new and pre-owned inventory, WapakonetaFord.net, or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. So here goes the Spartans. They'll go first down. Hall looks across. He's got Wilson flashing across the middle, and Boog Wilson's going to be taken down about the – about the 17-yard line. Adams on the stop for the Rams of Toledo Rogers. Ten, ten, ten to go here in the first quarter. Go third and one from about the 16-yard line, and a little confusion here on the sidelines. And well, I'm wondering why he's not throwing the flag. Yeah. <laughs> not sure what they're doing here. Is it a misplacement of the football? You've got all kinds of trouble here in the early goings with this, and they're going to say offside. Okay, but I didn't see right. a flag come out. They called it from this right nearest hash nearest, nearest us, but there was no flag that was thrown on the field. Yeah, I did not see that. You're correct. That'll bring up first and ten. Balls on the... The scoreboard says the ball is on the 12-yard line, but that is the 16-yard line they've placed it on. So all kinds of issues here tonight <laughs> to start this game out. The officials have got together, and they're trying to figure out what they're going to call here. Well, I think the head man's asking where'd the flag come from. They're waving the flag off, Gilly. Okay. Yeah, they waved the flag off. So first and 10, excuse me. Waving that invisible flag yeah, off. from the 16-yard line. Hall's in the gun. He's got two to the left, two to the right. He's going to hand up to the first man up. He goes to the 15, to the 10. Cuts back to about the 8-yard line. And that is a nice run there. You lied. You lied to me. I, I did. I, you're right. They ran the ball. They ran the ball, and they ran the ball effectively. effectively. <laughs> got eight. <laughs> Wesley on the stop. Yeah, yeah number nine, Amontre Davis with the carry there. So uh, a nice job there of the offensive line for Lima Seniors. And Lima Seniors' offensive line doesn't get a lot of credit, but they do a great job they of do protecting the ball. They do a good job all. protecting, yep. They sure do. We'll talk about them quite a bit tonight. That'll bring up second and two from the eight-yard line. Hall's going to go a handoff again, and he's going to go right up the middle, and he's going to take it in for a touchdown. A Fat Jack's Pizza touchdown. Fat Jack's is our touchdown sponsor tonight. Get to Fat Jack's Pizza before and after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. So, Gilly, two runs in a row. Who knew? Who knew that was coming? <laughs> but I'll tell you what, they got a great kick out block by number 74. Happens to be Mr. Uh, Tyrez Jefferson. Listen to this, 250 pounds, six foot tall, and only a freshman. So, Lima Seniors, they're going to go for two here, up six to nothing with 9.18 to go. Hall is in the backfield. The line has completely shifted to the left and to the right. Hall looks through, throws it in the middle. It's Wilson. Wilson's going to take it in and score easy. Boog Wilson scores. With 9.18 to go, the Lima Senior Spartans take an 8-0 lead. We'll be back right after these messages.
Welcome back to Spartan Stadium. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Also, our scoreboard sponsor is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. So Senior High takes an 8-0 lead. Gilly, boy, they made it look easy, didn't they? Made it look easy, and like you said, they sprinkled in a little bit of run right there. But, yeah, they got off to that hot start that they want now. <laughs> that, they got they got to wait for this onside kick because you know it's coming. Yeah, they're setting up for an onside kick, and there it is. There it is, a big bounce, and Senior High's got it. Senior High's got it, and they take off. Are you kidding me, Gilly? That kick could not have played out any better. Senior High with the recovery, heading for another touchdown. Popped right up into his hands. Happens to be number 24. Now the officials are getting together. There was no flag thrown. I don't understand why the officials are getting together here. Uh, Not sure you can advance it. Yeah, I was going to say. I, I, In high school football, I don't know if you can advance it from the spot of the recovery, and I think that's what they're bringing it back to. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on here. So, uh, Gilly, I've seen a lot of onside kick in my days, but you, you never see them just happen exactly how you plan them, and that was perfect. It was what a perfect. great job. They, by the kicker and yes, also by, yeah. the, by the young man. I think that was number 23. It appeared to be uh, Taylor. <laughs> also a freshman. <laughs> They've got him everywhere, don't They've they? They've got him everywhere, and they got him <laughs> in every grade level. And <laughs> so here come the Spartans as they trot back out. They lead 8 nothing. Toledo Rogers has not had an offensive opportunity yet, and we are down to 9-11. So Hall will go to the gun. He's got three to the left, two to the right, and you know he's going to pass the ball. He's got an empty backfield. There goes uh, Amari Addy in motion, Hall under pressure. He is under big time pressure. He rolls to his right, looks downfield, and he's just going to throw it away. And there you see the maturity of uh, of young Janias Hall. He did not force it. He got out of pressure, used his legs, and throws it away. Yeah, I'm not so sure last year or even the beginning of this year That's he would have made that yeah. decision. That's a great point. Gary. That's how much he's matured and grown as a young man under center. And you watch him throw the ball, Gilly, and he's got a strong arm. And, and he's not a big kid. He's 5'10", 155 pounds, but, boy, he can really sling it. Well, you, you get him in the weight room and put <laughs> 25, 30 pounds on him. That's Mr. St. Clair listed That's at 230 right. now. That's right. So here goes the Spartans, second and 10 from the 49-yard line. Hall looks across the field. He's under pressure. He steps up in the pocket, throws it down the right, right side. He's got a man down there, and, yes, oh, my goodness. Number 11, Vontae Watkins Daniels. Now, maybe they got caught up in each other and maybe they tripped over each other, but Daniels went down hard and no call on the field. Yeah, that's, a, that's one of those where you're bumping and shoving one another for position. You live for another play if you're the Spartans. Yeah, the Lyman senior coaching staff to our left, not happy on that call where they kill me. That'll bring up third and 10 from the 49-yard line. Hall takes the snap, and he looks across the field. He fires down the middle. He's got a man out there. He's got a reception. He'll go to the 30, to the 25, and that's where he'll be taken down. Reception made by number nine, Amontre Davis, the fabulous freshman. Gilly, they got a big game plan for that young man today. Well, guess what? It was either receiver because they were right on top of one another. Great pitch and catch. Lee with the stop, but not until they get a long gain and a – Another Spartan first down. And it looked like Boog Wilson was the other receiver in the area, so either of them could have got it. So they'll go another Lee's famous recipe first down. Here goes Hall. He'll throw left side. He's got his man out there. This is Wilson. He goes to the 20, and that's where he'll be taken down by a host of Rogers Rams. Join myself, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as we discuss local football matchups, Buckeye football, and sports all across the state of Ohio in WOSN's newest podcast, The Three Wise Men. When are we going to get you, Gilly? You know we've been clamoring to get I'm you on waiting, the podcast. I'm waiting for that phone call. <laughs> you get the call to the big leagues, my man. <laughs> We'll get you out I'm there. sure you're getting me out there right, we, right in the middle of round ball season. <laughs> you're absolutely right. And there goes Janias Hall. Is he a slam to the turf? Ricardo Pearson Davis, the defensive lineman, the sophomore for the Rodgers Rams, just throws him to the ground. And a nice job by the D-line at Toledo Rodgers. Wow. Defensive lineman listed 150 pounds. Yeah, they're not a real big defensive front, Gilly. But I'm telling you what. 
Wow, he's quick. Rodgers comes in defensively. They give up 21.5 a game. You know, if they can hold Lima Senior that, they average 22 a game. They do, Then they can score well, the football. It's going to get done. Yeah. If they're going to do it, it's going to be at the defensive end. That'll bring up third they can't. They can't. They cannot run with point for point with the Spartans. And there you see a laser to Boog Wilson, who catches it and is taken down immediately at the 10-yard line. Another Lee's famous recipe first down, and that puts him in the Wapakoneta Ford red zone. So what a throw by Tanias Hall, Gilly. He just hammered that ball. Wesley on the stop, but like you said, not until another first down for the Spartans. Bring up first and goal, Hall's in the gun. He's gonna flip the ball over. Here come the Spartans, they'll go to the 10, to the five, and into the end zone. Kalik Wash gets the little flip from Hall and he takes it into the end zone and it's coming back, Gilly. The officials have thrown a flag and they're gonna call a holding penalty against the senior high Spartans. Okay, and I think young man lost his helmet, so he's gonna have to come out for a play. It appears to be the Number 74 for the this big Spartans. freshman. Therese yep. Jefferson, the six Left foot, 250 pound freshman. Gilly, they are building for the future. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot of freshmen and sophomore in this lineup. It's really, really impressive to see how athletic these kids are. Boy, back in my day, freshmen, you know, you, you, you couldn't get on a varsity squad. I'll tell you, give Wash a lot of credit. He was gonna bounce it outside and they took it away. Woodward did, he cut it inside and just went full steam ahead and cracked that end zone. He did. Unfortunately, like you said, has to come back. Woodward was last week, Gilly. <laughs> this is Rogers. Oh, my bad. <laughs> That's twice I've said that. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you got spent, Woodward, you yeah, got Rogers, you got And you spent last week in Vegas, so I'm giving you some you I'm know, giving you some leeway. Yeah, to watch our clowns play. <laughs> Here go the Spartans, first and 20 from the 20-yard line. Hall's in the gun. He's going five wide, three to the left, two to the right. He looks across the middle. He throws it. Oh, oh he gets boy. picked off, picked off at the five. The Rogers Rams have taken it back to the 25, picked off by number three, Gilvarian Smith, the 5'9", 165-pound junior. It looked like Hall's arm got hit it, when it he threw did. it. Yeah. That's where the pressure came in from that left side of uh, – Senior high's offensive line, and he appeared to get enough of the arm to deflect the football and not get a full range of motion on the throw. And look, Gilly, we, we, talk, yeah, we talked about it at the beginning of the broadcast. For Rodgers. Yeah, if, for Rodgers. If the Rodgers Rams were going to have a chance in this game, they needed a couple things. They needed to keep their offense on the field, and they needed turnovers. Turnovers. And they got the first one there. Yeah, because right now it should be 14 to nothing, or 14 or 16 sure. to nothing. You know, that, how big was that holding call for Absolutely. the Spartans? So here come the Rodgers Rams. They'll be led on the field by number 10, Jamar Johnson, 35 of 67 for 420 yards and three touchdowns. They got a man in motion, two to the right, one to the left, and they will stop action there. And you saw in the backfield with Jamar Johnson, Sean Cannon, he's their number one option, Gilly. He is the number one running back right now in the Toledo City Athletic League, 615 yards, seven touchdowns. And Gilly, he averages eight yards a carry. The young man knows how to tote the rock. Well, the other one's at 8.8, .8, and he's ranked number three in the league. <laughs> so, yeah, both of those guys are going to get a lot of totes tonight. So Johnson in the gun. He's got Sean Cannon off to his left side. He's going to hand the ball to Cannon. Cannon brings it up the middle. He's found a crease. He gets to the 25, takes it up to about the 28-yard line. And there you see the elusiveness of Sean Cannon. And we've got a Rodgers Ram down on the field holding his arm. And he is in some pain. We're going to take a time out here and let them tend to that young man. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to Spartan Stadium, where the young man who was taken off the field, number 56, is Naheem Moore, the 5'11", 220-pound junior, defense, or offensive lineman. Uh, it looks like he's going to be okay, Gilly. He is being taken care of by the athletic staff over there. That's good to see. Absolutely. So here goes the Rodgers Rams. It'll be second and eight from the 28-yard line. Down eight, nothing already to the senior high Spartans. Johnson calls for the ball. They're going to hand the ball off. This is number 80, Ja'Kai Hudspeth. And he is knocked down a gain of about maybe two yards. And that'll set up a big third down for the Rams. Really good job by Cameron Nix right there, forcing him to the outside. He didn't get the tackle, but he did a really good job of trying to chase him down and turn him into his teammates. 
So third and eight from the 28-yard line. Rodgers down 8 nothing. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Spartan Stadium on a beautiful fall October night for football here in Lima. Johnson will take the gun. snap. He throws across the field. His man takes it to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. He's got to break a tackle. He's at midfield, and he's got green grass in front of him, and he's going to be taken down at about the 25-yard line. A, a nice catch by number 11, Marquise Wesley, as he scampers about 50 yards, Gilly, and the Rodgers Rams are knocking on the door. Yeah, Deshaun Greer right there for Lima Senior just saved the touchdown. Great effort by that young man, grabbing him around the ankles and bringing him down, but not until getting to the 25. This is Cannon. He'll carry the ball up the middle, and he is finding nothing, and a great job of run stuffing there by the Spartan defensive line. As I said earlier, Sean Cannon averaging eight yards a carry. Because Jerry McAllister is the other running back, Gilly. He's 423 yards with right. five touchdowns and an 8.8 .8 average. So yeah. a, a, a nice duo to complement an, an athletic quarterback in Jamar well, Johnson. And, and he also throws a decent ball. His numbers aren't bad. A little over 56% throwing the football. Johnson's found his man, and he hits it. Number eight, Ja'Kai Hudspeth. We talked about him earlier. And Hudspeth goes just across the first down marker. Gilly, uh, Toledo Rogers started out kind of rough this year. They lost to Elida 40 to nothing. They played Springfield and lost. In fact, they lost their first three games. Now they've won two of their last three, so they seem to be putting it together. At the right a, time. Yeah, yeah, they took a tough one last week to Toledo start. And one of the senior high interior linemen jumps there, and so they'll move that one up five yards. So Lima Senior doesn't want to do that very often. Yeah, somebody got into the neutral zone a little too quick right there. Yes, they did. And that's big if, you know, if you're Rodgers, that puts you in a situation where you can make a different play call. So Johnson's in the gun. He's got Cannon off to his left side. He's going to hand the ball to Sean Cannon, who goes up the middle, and there is nothing there. And, boy, they're having a hard time of running between the tackles. You saw Sean Cannon earlier, Gilly, when he bounces to the outside and gets some space. He's really athletic. But that defensive line for Lima yeah, Senior. I got a feeling you keeping in between the tackles tonight against the black and silver and add a little pink tonight, it's going to be <laughs> difficult to run. J.J. Weber on the stop along with number 52, Carl Stokes. That'll bring up fourth down, Gilly. Here we go, fourth and five from the 20. They are in the Wapakoneta Ford red zone. So here come the Rodgers Rams. A big play here at fourth and five. And, I, and I'll be honest with you, Gilly, I like the call. You've got to keep your offense on the field against this Spartan powerhouse. Yeah, you, you know, you can't exchange a three for a seven, you know, and it's it would have definitely been a, what, 27 by 37 yard Yeah, they're going to back kick. it up because it is going to be a delay of game delay a game against Rodgers, and that's going to make it fourth and ten. Is that going to change their decision? You're on the 20-yard line. If you don't have a kicking game, you really, you're really you not at any loss for going for it. Right. Here. Yeah, and you speaking of the kicking game, I looked at Lima Senior's kickers. They are doing a phenomenal job of extra points. I think they're perfect right here on the season mm -hmm. on extra points. Well, I tell you what, if I was a kicker, this turf is beautiful oh. here. This the facility is really nice. You could kick all day here. Yes, sir. Here go to the Rams. This is Johnson. He looks across the field. He throws down the middle. He's got a man out there, and no reception made. A little bit of contact, but a good no call, and Lima Senior will take over on downs. Trying to see who that was on the defensive coverage right there. I like okay. the aggressive. Yeah, I like the Jermaine aggressive. Maxwell on the coverage. The aggressive play call of the Toledo Rogers Rams. I really like it. They know they've got to score a bunch of points tonight, but Senior High is going to take over the ball first and ten on the twenty-five. A little southpaw action right there by the quarterback. Yeah, and, and I was going to bring that up, Gilly. You realize that during that drive, one of the passes, he switched hands and threw it with his right hand. Didn't see that. Yes, he did. That was the screen that pass was, yes, that, that, exactly. that they broke off yep, for it the sure long run. Was. So. Nice luxury to have to be able to <laughs> yeah, right? flip it in both hands by the Rodgers quarterback. Right. <laughs> you got me. Thank God you said oh, something to right. me. It had been, been a Woodward festivity I tonight. Take, I take care of you. You're mine. I man. know. I know. <laughs> so, Coach Bill Lawrence is out on the field, and uh, they're going to take a timeout. There's a timeout on the field. We're going to take a timeout here in the booth to watch high school football. I'm talking you all
Welcome back to Sparta Stadium, where we're with 3.32 to go in the first quarter. The line is in your Spartans lead 8 to nothing. They take over the ball here, first and 10 on the 25. Hall is in the gun. He's got three receivers to his right, one single receiver to the left. He looks across the field. He's under heavy pressure, and that is the theme of the night so far. The Rodgers wow. Rams have been – that's the second sack on Hall. Yeah, I believe that's by number seven, Ricardo Pearson Davis. That's his second tackle for loss and also sack. And, boy, we talked about the, the good job of Lima Senior on that first drive, their offensive line, and since that time, that defensive line for Rodgers is really getting after him. Yeah, the quickness is wreaking havoc right now that, on the big yeah. fellas from Lima Senior. That's a great point, Gilly, the, the speed. Speed right now, the Rodgers Rams, the difference in the trenches. So here goes Hall in the gun. It'll bring up second and 15. He looks across the middle, under pressure. He's got his man. And, oh, just skips the ball on the turf. Intended target number 11, Vontae Watkins Daniel. Again, the pressure, you know, is starting to present itself. Nice pressure there again by Rodgers, especially up the middle. That'll bring up third and 15. So the Lima senior offense, Gilly, has kind of sputtered here since they took it down on that initial drive, and then they got that second onside kick. So here goes Hall in the gun. He is under pressure. He throws to the left side and nearly picked off, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, did you see who was in the backfield again? Our guy. Pearson Davis. Our, our guy, Pearson Davis. I mean, he's just coming right up the middle. They're playing him at a stand up on almost like a middle linebacker and he's just coming right at him. Ricardo Pearson Davis, a sophomore defensive lineman, 5'11", and Gilly said it earlier, 150 pounds, but my goodness, he's got speed to burn and he's really causing him all kinds of problems. Definitely a high motor. So here we go, fourth and 15 from the 20 yard line. Lima Senior, Hall gets, oh, he's gonna punt it and he gets a high punt that hits at about the 48 yard line and rolls back. And Lima Senior will recover it right around the 45-yard line. So I thought they were going to go for it, Gilly, but uh, Janias Hall punts it out, and that's where the Rodgers Rams will take over. Yeah, that's unusual to see that happen, but uh, you know what? Offense right now is not clicking. Let's turn it over to the defense, and let's see if we can't get a stop. So Janias Hall and the Spartan offense sputters once again. They lead eight to nothing with 2.37 to go. Nice crowd on tap here for the home squad. A beautiful night here. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Spartan Stadium in Lima Senior High School, where the Spartans are 6-0 and leading the Toledo City Athletic League. So here come the Rodgers Rams. This is Jamar Johnson. He's going to hand the ball to Cannon. Cannon goes up the miss left side. Excuse me. That is not Cannon. That is number 52 for the Rodgers Rams, Javon Finn. And uh, did not see him carrying the ball tonight. Our didn't scouting see report. that one coming, did we? <laughs> Our scouting reports did not indicate. You took a double take, yeah. and I had to pull my glasses down. And yeah, I just I saw the I saw an offensive line number in the backfield. And I'm like, are, is he going to lead? Block? Hey, what heck of a run! It was a heck of a run. So a nice game plan so far by Rodgers as they're throwing all the wrinkles out. So here's Johnson in the gun. He's going to keep it himself. He goes up the middle to the 40, to the 35, to the 30. He's got daylight to the 20, to the 15, and he'll be taken down at about the 12-yard line. Jamar Johnson, the 6'2", 150-pound junior, he shows you a little bit of wheels there, Gilly. Yeah, right now, you know, they've got the Spartans on their heels. Big run right there by that young man. So Rodgers, they are in the Wapakoneta Ford red zone, and they get another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. So, my goodness, Gilly, the Rodgers-Rams came to play tonight. After that first drive, it's been all Rodgers. Well, and this is where they've got to get some points out of this possession. Here goes Johnson. He's got Javon Finn in the backfield off to his right shoulder. Johnson's going to keep it. Finn blocks for him, and he goes across the 15. He gets to about the 12-yard line and a nice run there. Javon Finn was in the backfield. and Did you see him? He put his hand on his back and pushed him through. And we've got another Rodgers lineman. Yeah, it appears down. to be the quarterback. You're right. It is. The, I believe it is Jamar Johnson. So we'll let them tend to that young man. We'll step aside. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. So here come this Rodgers Rams. Jamar Johnson's in the gun. He's got number 52, Finn, off to his right side. 
Second and seven from the 13. And the completion is made across the right side, and he's taken down immediately. Yeah, Jalen Webster, nice job there from the defensive back position to step up and make that tackle for no gain. We'll get this thing figured oh, out. Oh, we will, we will. We got a program here, and then I got I, I got on Rogers' website and pulled a roster up. But yeah, it appears to be a little different. So third and seven from the 13-yard line. Lima Senior leads 8-0. Clock continues to run. And really, if you're Rodgers, you're not really worried about that clock as long as you can keep this game close, wouldn't you say? Gilly? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Try to get something out of this possession. It'd be nice. So here's the throw, a completion made at about the 15-yard line. That, complete, or that throw was by Kajai McAllister, who comes in. So they have been rotating back and forth, Jamar Johnson and Kajai McAllister at the quarterback position. Yeah, the left-hander right there just short on that just a little bit. He wanted to run with it. And good job by senior high plugging up that initial run and making him throw the football out in the flat, and he didn't quite get it to his receiver. So after one quarter play from Lima Senior Stadium, the Spartans lead 8-0. We'll be back with second quarter action right after these messages. Welcome back to Spartan Stadium after one quarter of play. The line of senior Spartans lead 8 nothing. Dan Gilbert, Dan Gilbert on a beautiful fall Friday night here in Lima. A Toledo City Athletic League game and a, and a really good game so far. It Gilly. is. It is a really good game. Played a really good first quarter of football here on this cool Friday night. McAllister looks across the field. He steps out in the pocket. He throws to the side. He's got a man out there and just out of the outstretched arms of his receiver. And there you saw Kajai McAllister throw a dart across the field. Yeah, that was going to Jalen Lee. The, the pass itself was really, really good because they threw it to the back pylon away from the defenders. But a better job by the Spartans holding right there, keeping the Rams out of the end zone. And also, it is a turnover on downs as that was fourth good down. Point. So 11.54 to go here. Lima Senior needs something positive, Gilly. They need a nice drive here and take a two-score lead. Homecoming tonight here at Lima Senior. Congratulations to Queen Keja Jones, excuse me, and King Kalik Walsh. Congratulations to those two young students from Lima Senior High School. Always always a fun night at homecoming, Gilly. It is Gilly. a fun night. We had homecoming last week at Allen East, and here we are at Lima Guess Senior. Guess what the last name of the young lady was. <laughs> That's Jones. right. That's right. So there's a handoff, the Senior High Spartans. And this is number four. This is Kalik Wash as he tries to get back around the field, and he gets to the 15, to the 20. He cuts back to the 25, and he's, he's fighting everybody for yardage. And a nice job. He ran 100 yards to get about 10, Gilly. <laughs> you know what? That's 10 big yards. Absolutely. Good job by that young man. Deception and speed. So the senior high Spartans are doing a little ball control offense here, handing the ball off a lot more than I thought we'd see it. But uh, Got some Rams. Hands on their waist. So Hall will go to the gun. He's got three to the right, two to the left. First and 10, another Lee's famous recipe first down. Hall looks across the floor or the field. He throws it deep down the middle. He's got a man out there, and it's picked off. Picked off by number eight, Jalen Lee, and that's the second interception tonight. And he tries to bring it back, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. So a second turnover for the Rodgers Rams and the Spartan offense having all kinds of trouble. Yeah, that one there, again, the pressure's coming up the middle by Pearson Davis. And we decided to step up in the pocket to Spartan quarterback. Yeah, I was a little surprised at, you know, how far off it was from his attended receiver. Yeah, it was, it, the receiver was on the left side of the boundary and the ball ended up in the middle of the field. So maybe a little miscommunication there between quarterback and wide receiver. And the pressure could, you know. Oh, Rodgers is putting the pressure on that for are, sure. They are bringing the pressure. So Rodgers will start out first and 10 from the 40. Down 8 nothing with 11.09 to go, and they'll switch quarterbacks again. Jamar Johnson, the 6'2 junior, will come back in and call signals here as he takes the snap. 
Looks across the field. He's got a single back to his left. He's got two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. And Toledo Rogers is flagged for delay of game. Yeah, the back judge threw the flag, but I think the coach called a timeout prior to that. I think you're right, and we're going to keep it right here. And, and Gilly, look, we, we may have some problems with our uh, with our names tonight. I just full disclosure, Lima Senior sent us everything we needed. They sent rosters. They sent everything we asked for. We did not get anything from Toledo Rogers. Uh, we made multiple requests to their department. So uh, we're doing uh, – we, we got a roster here. But we got uh, a roster from yeah. the media program. And, and like and I said, I tried to get on Rogers High School website today, and I found a, ro a roster, but – you know, sitting here comparing the two, I'm taking what I got from Rogers, sure. and it's going into the trash. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank goodness we got the best in the business. Mark Shine <laughs> oh, got, a, got, got us some and he stuff. Yeah. Well, he communicated with us. Oh, he, he absolutely did. He He's one of those guys that you know, he's a go-getter, and he reaches out to the schools, and if it, it doesn't happen the first time, he'll reach a second time. Absolutely. So here we go, first and ten Classy from the guy. 40. Rodgers trying to get back in this one, down 8 nothing. This is Jamar Johnson in the gun. He's going to hand the ball off to the first man up. He'll get to the 45, and that's where he'll be taken down. A gain of five yards and a nice job of the Toledo Rodgers offensive line opening up that hole for big number 52, Javen Finn. So they're going to stay with Finn in the backfield, Gilly, and kind of surprising me. Every <laughs> The scouting report I have is Sean Cannon, and, uh, Sean Cannon, and now Finn's carrying the load right now. This is Finn as he gets tripped up, a gain of maybe a yard. Yeah, oh, our viewers, yeah. we got to explain to them that is a number 52 yeah, in the backfield. Yeah, that is. That is. So that will bring up third and two from the 45. And the Toledo Rogers Rams are content with letting that clock run here in the second quarter as they're trying to keep this one close and doing a great job of it so far. Yeah, they're controlling the tempo of the game between that and the turnovers by the Spartans. And the Rodgers Rams, they're going to switch quarterbacks again. They'll bring in Kajaya McAllister. McAllister is a 6'2", 185-pound senior. Bring up third and three from the 47. McAllister takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to get the first down as he goes across midfield and just does pick up the first down. Another Lee's famous recipe first down. Our second quarter sponsor tonight is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call you home. Tavian James on the stop for Lima Senior. Not like you said, partner, until Mr. McAllister got it to that first down marker. Boy, they do a really nice job of the lead back uh, blocking for the quarterback, Gilly. They've ran that three or four times tonight. This is McAllister. He'll throw to the left side. He's got his man out there, and he drops it. And he drops the ball. Oh, and he had some, he had <laughs> some green grass <laughs> in front of him. Jekiah Hudspeth, we've talked about him all night. And Hudspeth had uh, plenty of room. Boy, Gilly, he catches that one. He mm. goes 10, 12, 15 yards. Yeah, there was a crease there and a seam to run north-south. He didn't have to do much east-west. That'll bring up second and 10 from the 49-yard line. They're going to keep McAllister at the quarterback position. They'll go three wide to the left, a single back off to McAllister's right side, single receiver on the right. McAllister takes the snap. He's going to hand the ball off. No, he's going to keep it. He's going to go across the 50 to the 45 as he cuts back to the middle, and he's going to pick up a nice chunk of yardage, about five yards. Boy, I was confused on that play. I thought for sure they were handing off to the first back. Well, he came, he came this side with it, but he did a great job with his foot quickness and juking because senior high had him two or three times. He just did a really good job eluding the defender and getting as much as he could. What did you get, about five? Uh, yeah, he got about five yards. They're saying third and five. I was correct on the call, third and five from the 44. So uh, a manageable third down pickup here for the Rodgers Rams, and they'll keep McAllister under center. He'll go out from the gun. He's got a single back off to his left side. He'll fake the handoff. He's under heavy pressure. He rolls to the 50. He looks downfield. He's going to keep it himself. He goes across midfield, and he's taken out of bounds at about the 34-yard line, and he was hit hard, Gilly, and he is down on the turf. Yeah, I'm trying to see who that was that come up and made the stop. Appeared to be number 31, Jaden Jones. McAllister is down, and he is being tended to on the sidelines. 
And he picks up another Lee's famous recipe first down, but a 13-yard gain. He is really oh, quick. Oh, my goodness. And Looks like Jaden Jones hobbling off here for the Spartans yeah, also. They're going to take a medical timeout. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Back here at Spartan Stadium with 8.44 to go. Toledo Rogers Rams are on the run. Say that three times fast. Rogers Rams on the run. It's better one more break. Right, right. First and ten from the 34. Good grief. <laughs> we'll get her. We'll get her partner. Oh, yeah, I got it finally. Uh, there's a throw down the left side. He's oh, got he's his got man him. out there, and he's got him. He's got him for a big-time touchdown, a Fat Jack's pizza touchdown. Jamar Johnson with a laser strike. And he finds number 11, Marquise Wesley, and the Rodgers Rams are right back in it at 8-6. Wow, they got the matchup they wanted. You know, obviously the coaches have watched some film. They got the one-on-one -on, -one on the outside and Boy, Wesley, nice, nicely thrown ball. Yeah, Wesley went right by him. He just went right by him. And you're right, Jamar Johnson came in to quarterback. And this two-man rotation of quarterbacks oh, really paying dividends, isn't it? Yeah, it's working. So here come the Rogers Rams. They'll go for two with 8.33 to go, down eight to six. Finn's in the backfield with Johnson. He'll take the snap, hand the ball. He'll keep it himself, and he's going to be taken down. So no two-point conversion. So with 8.33 to go, the line of senior Spartans lead the Toledo Rogers Rams eight to six. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Spartan Stadium, where with 8.33 to go, the Toledo Rogers Rams score a touchdown. They fail in their two-point conversion, Gilly. It's 8-6, to six, and you look across at that sideline, and those kids are super excited right now because they're right in this well, game. What's impressive about what they're doing, speaking of Rogers, is those kids are all on the same page. He's moving the tackles from one side to the other. He's bringing receivers in. You know, he's bringing in two different quarterbacks. He's bringing in a lineman to yeah. play running back. He's mixing up the run and, and the and pass. And all the yeah. kids are all on the same page. Yeah, they are. Like you them. said, they started out 0 and 2 on the season. And boy, they've really got a nice job here. Rashawn Wilson is the head coach for the Rogers Rams. Uh, they've won two of their last three. They beat Waite and Woodward. And Gilly, they put up 46 against Waite and 58 against Woodward. Uh, so lost, they can score yeah, points. They can score points. They can score and, points. And granted, now we you know we don't get a whole lot of you know coverage in sure, the Toledo right, area. Right, right. There's a squib kick down the middle of the field. It's fielded at the 25-yard line, and they'll go to the 30. To the 35, they cut back, and this is number 27 for the Spartans. That is Jermaine Maxwell, and Maxwell takes it to about the 43-yard line where the Spartans will take over. Nice return there by that junior. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Spartan Stadium here on the campus of Lima Senior High School. Homecoming 2024. So the kids great are all night for it. Yeah, they had a great night for homecoming. You're absolutely right. So here come the Spartans. And Janias Hall needs to get the Spartans on track here. He's in the gun. They'll go five wide, three to the right, two to the left. He takes the snap, looks across the field. He's under heavy pressure. He's going to step up, and he's going to throw it to the sidelines, and he just throws it away. Actually, right at the ref. I believe you. You're right. He threw right at the ref. Yeah, the, the pressure from Rodgers right now is presenting some challenges for the big fellas up front for the Spartans. You're right. It is all in the trenches right now, and the Rodgers Rams are really getting a lot of pressure on Janias Hall. Well, and if he can't get his feet set, you know, that's oh, absolutely. That's a big advantage for Rodgers. Janias Hall's in the backfield. He's got the freshman, Amontre Davis, off to his right side, two receivers to the left, two to the right. And Hall's going to take the snap. Looks across the right. He's under heavy pressure. Tries to avoid the pressure. And he's going to have to take it out of bounds for a yes, loss. So. Gilly, yeah. And it's a loss. My goodness, that pass rush. Number seven. We've talked about him all night. Ricardo Pearson Davis is everywhere. Yeah, 150 pounds. He's just bouncing off those linemen. But you know what? He's not on the ground, and he's still chasing. 
So that'll bring up third and 11 from yeah, the 41-yard right, line. Partner, he did take a loss. Yes, he did. Third and 11 from the 41. And there's going to be a flag. And boy. Oh, they got a false start on the Spartans. False start on the Spartans. That's going to back it up. That's going to make it third and 16. So everything going haywire here in the early goings of the second quarter for the Lima Senior Spartans. A big heavy favorite in this game tonight. Lima Senior comes in number one in the Toledo City Athletic League at 6-0, and 2-0 and in the league play. Toledo Rogers 2-4 and overall and 2-1 and in league play. Lima Senior coming off a huge win over Woodward last week at 56 to nothing. So Hall will take the snap from the gun. He's got three to the right, two to the left. He looks across the field. He's got his man down the left side, and a connection's made, and a nice pet pitch and catch, number four, Kalik Walsh. And it looked like the defender got him across the face mask, and I don't believe it was called. No, I don't think it was called. That, that's a heck of a throw, because if he waits another second, that defender's going to bear right down there yeah. and get a deflection. That's exactly what the senior high Spartans needed, Gilly. Yes. They needed a big play, and they get it from for Kalik Walsh as he makes a really nice catch, and he takes it first and 10 from the 31. Another Lee's famous recipe, first down. They'll go Boog Wilson. Boog Wilson takes it to the 30, to the 25, and he'll be knocked out of bounds at about the 24-yard line. So there we see the senior Boog Wilson getting involved. We hadn't seen much of him since that first possession, Gilly. He was everything, and uh, that's the first time they've went back to him in a while. Okay. Well, maybe that's the first of many here. That'll bring up second and 10 from the 31-yard line. Excuse me, second and six from the 27 as they update the scoreboard. The Hall throws it to the right. Oh, and great play. A great play. And number 11, Marquise Wesley, comes out of his defensive back position and lays the wood down. My goodness, you saw Walsh catch the ball, and he was hit immediately, Gilly, and that's going to be another loss. That's a big stop right there. That's a loss of almost three. That'll bring up. What, third and 13? Third and 12 from the 27 okay, is what they 12. call it, a long yeah. 12. So here go the Spartans. Janias Hall is in the gun. He's got three to the left, one to the right. He's going to throw back to the left side to Walsh. Walsh catches it. He flips it back, and here go the Spartans. And they flipped it back to Boog Wilson, Gilly. And he's short of a first down, but a nifty play there by Spartan as Walsh just kind of the old hook and lateral play. Yeah, it was a little hook and ladder in Pearson Davis. Again, we've called his name quite a bit tonight, and he's now down on the field. And a Rogers Ram is down on the field. So with 6.50 to go, we're going to take a time out here in the booth. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to Spartan Stadium, where they have taken care of the young man who was down on the field. Our timeout sponsor tonight is Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So here we go, Gilly, fourth and seven from the 28. Lima Senior leads eight to six. Hall is in the gun. He's got three to the right. Hall looks across the field. He's under pressure, doing a little dance, and goes up in the pocket, and he is going to pick up. No, he is going to be, short. be short. He is going to be short of a first down, and it's going to be a turnover on downs as the Rodgers defense holds and a big stop there by the Rams. Yeah, the pressure, especially up the middle. That time it was number 44, which I do not have him on the roster as a number partner, but he came in and replaced Pearson Davis, and he got extreme pressure up in that A-gap between the center and the right guard, and again – Forced Hall to step up and yeah, we don't have a make the decision to run that football, and he was just short. Good job there by the Rogers Rams getting a four and out turnover on downs. They get the football back. So here come the Rams. They'll be led back on the field by Jamar Johnson. We saw him throw an absolute bullet strike down the field for a touchdown. He's in the gun. He's got two to the left, one to the right. He's got a single back. He's going to hand off to the back. This is Cannon, Sean Cannon with the ball. And he's going to pick up maybe a yard and a half to two yards. So Sean Cannon, the 5'9", 172-pound senior, who leads the Toledo City Athletic League with 615 yards, has been not much of a factor tonight, Gilly, but uh, they've, been one effective. One. Yeah, they've been effective in the passing game. 
Well, and they also brought Finn in the game, and he was very effective Finn, yeah, for them. Finn's done a really nice job. So here we go, second and seven from the 27. Johnson's in the gun. Looks across to his coaches, waiting for the play to come in. 6.01 to go. Clock continues to run. Lima Senior leads 8-6. to six. Johnson takes the snap. They're going to hand off to the first back up the middle. And this is Cannon, and he goes to about the 31-yard line where he'll bring up a manageable third down. And they've been to, that was Finn, excuse me. They brought Finn back in the game, number 52. And he, that's what they've been doing all night. They've been putting themselves in a manageable third down. Here we are, third and three. And don't be surprised if Johnson doesn't keep the ball himself here. Well, he's been very, yeah, he's been very effective well, running both, the ball. Both him and McAllister have done a really good job running the football. We have not seen McAllister since he was hurt, so uh, we're just wondering if he's going to be able to come back in this game. McAllister went down on the far sideline uh, just a while back. So it'll be third and three from the 31. Johnson awaits the play to come in from the coaching staff. Clock continues to run. And looks like Rodgers are going to take a timeout. There's a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout on the boot. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to Spartan Stadium. We're with 5.06 to go here until halftime. The Lima Senior Spartans lead the Rodgers Rams 8 to 6. So Leo Rodgers playing really inspired football right now. Boy, a lot of people thought this would be a blowout, Gilly, and so far so good for the visitors from Toledo. Well, they're playing their style of game, and that's ball control and time management, and they're keeping Lima Senior's offense off the field, and when they do are on the field, you know, they have not been very successful with a couple turnovers and a fourth down on turn turnover on fourth down. Jamar Johnson's pass was intended for Chuck Hines and he throws the ball just a little bit underneath. That's going to bring up fourth and three. And you know, you just wonder if they're going to kick the ball away here, Gilly, because their defense is playing so well right now. And I think that they really don't mind putting their defense on the field with 502 to go right. until halftime. Yeah, you know, and it's 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 one of those things where Lima Senior is going to have to get it to get get the thing clicking. If not, this second quarter make some adjustments at halftime on the offensive side of the ball, because like you said, Rogers is doing a pretty good job defensively. So another delay a game against the Rogers Rams, and I don't think he minds that. I don't think he does either. He's using he's he's using the clock. Well, here's what he's doing, Gilly. He's using his timeouts, his delay of games, and he's disrupting the flow of this game. Absolutely. That's exactly what he wants to do. Yeah, and it's, he's it's, making the game ugly. Yeah, and it's a master class right now, and that's I think that's their chance right now, and, and they're doing it great. So Wesley will come in to punt for the Rams as he'll be punting from about the 15-yard line, and he gets the snap and almost blocked, and a nice punt rolls back to the 40. And this is number 27 for the Spartans. This is Jermaine Maxwell as he takes it to the far sideline. He'll be thrown out of bounds at about the 50-yard line. So here we go, partner, with 4.53 to go. Nakaya Adams on the stop. Sophomore forcing the Spartan out on the far boundary. Yeah, I think if he falls right there, there was contact on the kick. I think if that kicker puts a little acting job on there, he may have got a penalty. So, Gilly, I, I'll be honest with you. I think this is the most important drive of the night for senior high. Well, up, and up, to, up to this time, yeah, yeah absolutely, for, no question. For, for both teams because here's the thing. If Toledo Rogers goes into the halftime down 8-6, they got to feel unbelievable. If senior high can score and put a two-gap between them, I think they'll feel really good. Yeah, it, it's definitely going to be a confidence booster for one of these two teams. So here's Hall with the ball. He's looking across the field. He's under pressure. He throws to the middle. He's got Boog Wilson across the middle. And he takes it and he gets tripped up or he was gone, Gilly. He uh, was he, gone. Trying to see who got him by the ankles. It appeared to be Marquise Wesley. Yeah, like you said, that's a game-saving touchdown right there. Boog Wilson takes it to the 20-yard line. That puts him in the Wapakoneta Ford red zone. So that'll bring up first and 10. Lima Senior on the march with 4.43 to go. Hall is in the gun. He's got an empty backfield. He takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself. He goes up the middle, and not much happening there. And I don't know if he got a yard or half a yard, Gilly, but again, a nice job by that Rodgers-Rams defensive front. You had Naheem Moore on the stop. 
Going to bring up second and 12 from the 25-yard line. Boy, we could not have got a better night for high school football. Oh, no Gilly. question. Not much of a not much of a breeze blowing. It's nice and warm, and a lot of folks out here watching a good high school football game. Hall gets the ball. He looks across the middle. He's under heavy pressure, and here come the Rogers Rams. Oh and my they goodness! Hit him, and hit him in the arm. Got the deflection. My goodness! Ricardo Pearson Davis comes in. He hits Hall's arm, and they nearly pick it off. And it's going to break up a third and twelve. Gilly, the Lima Senior, uh, look, in all seriousness, Lima Senior is going to have to go in at halftime and really figure out a scheme to keep Ricardo Pearson Davis off of their quarterback because he has been in the backfield all night. Well, his explosiveness and his speed obviously has played a big part in his first half, but, you know, great play right there in his length, getting his hands up, getting another deflection on Hall. So here come the Spartans. Janias Hall brings him to the line of scrimmage, third and 12 from the 25-yard line. And Coach Lawrence is going to take a timeout. Just curious if they're going to come up with like a little inside bubble screen here, especially if Pearson Davis is going to continue to well, put pressure up the middle yeah, of the field. And we've seen, you know, if you want to use their speed against him, that's a great call, Gilly. And if Boog Wilson can get, uh, you know, open like he has been all night, he is an effective guy running those bubble screens and getting you across the you. middle because he's electric when he catches well, the ball. Well, also got Walsh. It's got wheels too. Absolutely. Join myself, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as we discuss local football matchups, Buckeye football, and sports all across the state of Ohio. It's WSN's newest podcast, The Three Wise Men. I want to thank our presenting sponsor tonight, Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. So 3.55 to go. You got to believe this is two down territory. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Third and 12 from the 25. If they can, you know, you got to tell your kids we don't have to pick up all 12 yards. So here comes Hall in an empty backfield. They'll go three to the right, two to the left. Hall takes the snap, looks across, throws it deep down the right side. He's got a man out there and a nice play by both players, the defensive back and the receiver, trying to go for the ball, and a good no call. It's going to bring up fourth and 12. Yeah, I think they were going to Vontae Watkins Daniel right there, and Marquise Wesley made a heck of a play, running stride for stride on that breakup. Boy, these defensive backs for Rodgers really play the ball They're well. They're athletic. Yeah, they find the ball in the air, and I like that. I, I, I've always said I don't like the kids that turn their back and hope the ball comes to them. I like them to find the ball in the air. Here they go, fourth and 12. Hall looks across. He's under pressure. He steps up in the pocket. Oh, and they he got is going to be taken down. They are going to turn the ball over on downs. The Rodgers Rams, number 22, Makai Williams with the sack. And boy, howdy, the Rodgers Rams avoid a big time score there. Really, that's huge. That's going to bring up first and 10 from the 32 oh, for the how Rams. How big is that going into halftime if they can keep this thing to eight to six or possibly take it down and, and munch some time off the clock and keep the ball out of Lima Senior's hands? And again, Lima Senior can, can threaten real quick. They've had six interceptions or seven on the year. Big turnover here would be big for the Spartans. So here we go, first and 10 from the 35. Jamar Johnson, who's done a fantastic job. They were uh, platooning quarterbacks with Jamar Johnson and Kajaya McAllister, but Johnson has been taking the bulk of the snaps here in the second quarter. He's going to hand the ball off. This is Finn. Finn fighting for hard yards, and Finn is thrown out of bounds near the sidelines. <laughs> Max and Hardesty on the stop. He's going to pick up Gilly. That's a nice gain of about six yards there by big number 52, Javen Fitt. I've never seen a running back with 52 on the I have not either. <laughs> and that's what, you know, our viewers, when they watch this game, they'll say, is that 52? Is yeah, that 52, 52 in the back? Yeah. Well, Your eyes are not deceiving you. We're, we're calling it right. <laughs> so here comes Johnson in the gun. He's got Finn off to his left side. We're second and three from the 45. They'll go Finn again. And he is hit immediately in the backfield, and he's going to be taken down for a loss. So the Spartan defensive line rises to the occasion and a big-time stop by that interior front. Looks like Cameron Nix on the stop right there. That young man got him by the ankles. 
to bring up third and well, they've got three down on the board. And now yeah, that's I would say about a long three, partner. That is a long three, you're right. Clock continues to run. We're at two nineteen and counting. Let's see if he takes a timeout here. Johnson in the gun. No, he's, he's gonna not. take the hand. They'll go to the 45, oh, and he found a cut. Here he goes down the sidelines. Number 22, oh, Makai Williams. Oh, there's a touchdown save and tackle and right there by the Spartans. he saved a touchdown. Nakai Adams, excuse me, for the Rogers Rams, and he takes it into the Wapakoneta Ford red zone. What a cut at the line of scrimmage, Gilly, and the Rogers Rams are threatening to take the lead here with two minutes to go until halftime. Yeah, time. the guys up front are winning the battle right now. Darius Rousen. And they're going to say he was taken Save down. The touchdown. He rolled towards the 10 yard line, but they're going to say he was taken down at about the 15 yard line. So Johnson takes the snap. He's going to go Finn up the middle, and he is going to be thrown back. So no, no hurry right now for the Rams as they uh, have the ball on the 15 yard line. They'll call it the 16, second and 11. Well, I give a lot of credit, Gilly, to this Rodgers Rams well, coaching staff. They are very they're, they're prepared. They're prepared. There's no question. Very prepared. I mean, he's throwing all kinds of things at Lyman Senior right now, and it's disrupting the flow of the game for the Spartans on both sides of the ball. Yeah, absolutely. Second and 11 from the 16. Jamar Johnson lines up his Rams at the line of scrimmage. He's got number 23, Nakai Adams, off to his left. And the Rodgers Rams want to take a timeout. With 106 to go until halftime, the Rams take a timeout. We'll be back right after these messages. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is the Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. So second and 11 from the 16-yard line. You throw it. Boy, I, you yeah, I don't know. I'm glad I'm not coaching Gilly because those are well, tough decisions. you got decisions. a matchup out there on the left-hand side. You sure side. do. Johnson takes the snap. He's going to flip the ball, and the ball is on the ground. It is on the turf, and it is recovered by – I think that's senior high's ball. I think it is Lima he senior's ball. He tried to ball. pick the football up, and it cost him. They flipped it back to Ja'Kiah Hudspeth, and I think he dropped it, and – He tried to pick it up instead of landing on the ball. They are still sorting this one out, and – Let's see what they call. The officials are getting together. I don't know that they know the call here. And no call has been made. Boy, they're fortunate. Yeah, they're because gonna... he he went down to pick the thing up instead of diving on it. It looked like the Lima Senior player beat him to the football. And they're saying it's Lima Senior's ball, Gilly. They're saying it's Lima Senior's ball. And the Rodgers Rams, co the coaches are clear out on the field, Gilly. Uh, we're going to keep it right here. Lima Senior takes a timeout. And the Rodgers coaching staff is wanting an explanation from the officials. I think the ball still belongs to Rodgers. It looked like Janias Hall was setting up to take the Spartan offense on the field. They've got it at third down, so the markers are at third down. But I thought they gave the call to Lima Senior. We'll see what they're saying. Boy, it's a long third down now, partner. It's third and 18 from the 23. Now, how big was that? You know, he gets a clean grab on that football. It's hard to say what happens. You're right, Gilly. Lima Senior's defense is back on the field. Coach Lawrence wants an explanation, too. I'll be honest with you, I've never seen coaches come out on the field this far to talk to officials. And been, and been no sideline warning. No sideline warning at all. Just an odd turn of events here, but it does look like Toledo Rogers is going to get the ball back with 48 seconds to go and a third and 18 from the 23. And the Rogers coach is completely out at midfield. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure what the concern is. 
Well, they're sorting it out and uh, letting him talk a far oh, lot Oh, I think he's asking if that was a forward pass. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because if it's a forward pass, it's an incomplete, it's an incomplete pass. pass. Yeah, that's a great call. That's a, that's a great point. That's what he's asking, I think, and it was not. It was behind yeah. the line of scrimmage, yep. behind the quarterback. So they'll go third and 18 from the 23. Rodgers down 8-6 to the Spartans with 48 seconds to go. Yeah, they better be. Well, there's 15 seconds left. Yeah, there's bodies going everywhere. So here come the Rams, third and 18 from the 23. They're down 8-6, to six, trying to get the lead here before halftime. Johnson's in the gun. He's going to take the snap. He's going to roll to his left. He's looking downfield. He's got a man, and he throws it to the end zone, and a collision, oh, and they're going to call contact. pass interference. You're right, Gilly, and he stuck his arms out. You saw the call. That was pass interference, a good call by the back judge. Yep, back of the end zone, there was some contact before the football arrived. That's big for the Rams. It's going to give them an automatic first down, correct? Is, yep, you're absolutely right. It is an automatic first down with 42 seconds to go. That'll push the ball way up the field, Gilly. And don't look now, but the Rodgers Rams knocking on the doorsteps of a Fat Jack's Pizza touchdown. Okay, it is still third down, partner. What's – no automatic first down? Boy, i got to read up on my rule book, Gilly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the officials are – well, the, the, the coaching staff's asking why it's not a first down. That'll bring up third and seven from the 12-yard line. That's why we're up here. Exactly. Big play here for both teams. Here comes Johnson in the gun. He takes the snap. He's going to hand the ball off. And oh, good job by the Spartans. Good N job. Nakai Adams was taken down way behind the line of scrimmage, and the clock continues to run. And there's a, another Rodgers Rams. I think that's down. Adams. Yeah, I think it is Adams as he's down on the field. So with 30 seconds to go, 8 to 6. Boy, Gilly, I'm, I'm – I'm shocked at this score. I, I really thought Lima Senior would come out on fire, and they did that first possession, and, boy, they look good. And they've really sputtered since that time. But give a lot of credit to the Rodgers, Rams, and the game plan they came in with. Well, they're making the game look ugly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yes, they when are. you make a game look ugly, when your opponent makes it look ugly, you know, it takes the wind out of your sails a little bit. But they're doing it on both sides of the ball. And I think there's some, you know, disbelief on – the sure. way things are going right now for Lima Senior. But, you know, they're going to – both teams are going to go in at halftime and make corrections, and maybe we'll see some points on the board here in the second half. So the young man that was down is Nakai Adams, the 5'11 sophomore, as he'll walk off the field on his own accord. Good and to see. Yeah, it is good to see. But I'm like you. We've not seen McAllister back in the game. I'm just curious on – and I, what his prognosis yeah. is, because that dual threat, both quarterbacks in there, was very successful for the Rams. So here comes number 10, Jamar Johnson, the quarterback for the Rams. He'll take the snap. He's looking across the field. He's going to roll to his left. He throws to the end zone, and it's over top of number eight, his intended target, Jalen Lee. <clears throat> so that'll be a turnover on downs. Good and job by the Spartans there, getting a big stop defensively. Gilly was 16 seconds to go, and you're back to the 16. What do you think the Spartans, they take a knee, or do they try to, you know, with their offense, <laughs> they says they throw the ball. So we'll see what they do with 16 seconds to go. Yeah, he's he's going to use the, the opportunity to push this ball up the field, especially with two timeouts left. So eight to six here with 16 seconds to go until half. Lima Senior over the Toledo Rogers Rams. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Spartan Stadium on a beautiful fall October football night. So Hall will go into the empty backfield. He's got three receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. 
white uniforms everywhere. Yeah, they're, they're backed up to the 40-yard line trying to keep everything in front of them. Hall takes the snap. He's going to throw to the sidelines. He's got Boog Wilson over there to the 20, to the 25. He takes it up to about the 27-yard line and an immediate timeout by the Spartans. Marshawn Pettis on the stop. No, they're not a timeout. They just reset the ball and the clock stop. Nine seconds to go. They'll go to the hurry up. The clock's running. We're at seven. This will be the last play of the first half. Hall takes the snap under heavy pressure. Steps around looking for anybody, and he's going to be taken down and thrown hard to the turf. And that's how the first half went. After one half of play, the line of senior Spartans lead the Toledo Rogers Rams 8-6. to six. We'll be back with second half action right after these messages. Welcome back to Spartan Stadium. We're at halftime. The Lima Senior Spartans lead the Toledo Rogers Rams 8-6. Our presenting sponsor tonight is Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We're proud to call this home. And they are also our third quarter sponsor, Lima Chevrolet Cadillac. So, Gilly, it's 8-6, to six, and I think you and I would both agree the story of this game has been the Toledo Rogers defensive line. Boy, have they been good. Well, it's not only that initial line, it's that second interior line that, you know, is that second level that's putting the pressure on Lima Senior. And, you know, they've really done a good job time management using that clock. Sure putting Lima in third in long situations. What have they, they forced Lima in what? Two interceptions and two, what? Fourth down situations yeah, exactly. where they, they've turned the ball over on downs. And they've got, to my count, four sacks on Janias Hall. So they're really getting after him. It was interesting that uh, Toledo Rogers drives the ball down the length of the field. Now they turned the ball over on downs, but they kept it the, a lot in the second quarter. They get the opening kickoff here. And uh, Lima Senior lining up for another onside kick. They It'll be interesting to see if they do that or if they just try to, to pooch the thing to that third level in between the 40 and the 30. They ran an onside kick in the first half that was absolutely a thing of beauty. And so here we go, starting the third quarter here at Spartan Stadium. Lima Senior comes in 6-0, and 2-0 and in the Toledo City Athletic League. The Rogers Rams are two and four and two and one also in the Toledo City League. So here we go, partner. The second half from Spartan Stadium. There is the onside kick, and it takes a high bounce, and it is fielded. A nice job by Marshawn Pettis. Sure was going up high and securing that football. Marshawn Pettis, the 5'9", 150-pound junior, just went up and high-pointed it, Gilly, like a forward on a basketball squad. Did a nice job. And it looks like uh, he yeah, is he hurt. Took, he took a lick in there going up yes, for that he football. Did. He He took a beating when he grabbed that football. And the medical staff from Toledo Rogers is going to come out and tend to him. And he looks like he's in a little bit of pain. So with 11.59 to go here in the third quarter, we're going to step aside for an injury timeout. We'll be back right after these messages. Back here at Spartan Stadium on the campus of Lima Senior High School, the injured player is Marshawn Pettis. He is being helped off the field, and he's walking gingerly, Gilly. He did a great job of getting that onside kick, but he paid a price. Uh, it appeared to be cramps. He's drinking quite a bit of water going to that sidelines, but, uh, yeah, he took a shot. He went up and high-pointed that ball, and there was a black bunch of black and silver right there on top of him bearing down on him. And, he secured the football. Kudos to him. Well, and look at uh, Toledo Rogers, Gilly. They are at midfield uh, right here to start the third quarter. And uh, Jamar Johnson will come out and go under, excuse me, go in the shotgun position. And remember the first half, he and uh, Kajaya McAllister uh, did a little platooning at the quarterback position. Johnson is going to take the snap. He's going to hand off to Finn. Finn goes to the right side. He goes around the side. and Good job by the secondary, by the Spartans, stepping up, making the tackle. And gain maybe a yard. Big number 52, Javen Finn. Cameron Hicks on the stop along with Tavion James. 
Bring up second and nine from the 48. 11.30 you know, to go. You made the comment that McAllister is dinged up. He's going to be a second-half decision. Be interesting to see if they bring him in or just let Johnson do his thing. There's a little flip pass to number seven, Ricardo Pearson Davis. And we saw Davis on the defensive side of the ball. That's well, his first hard. That's he, his first carry he, of the night, Gilly. And he's athletic enough that you're going to see that young man oh, on both sides of the ball. And he did not run around. He tried to run through Lima Senior right there. And bring up a third down here with 11 minutes to go. And Rogers content with just taking the air out of the ball well, here. And I think they figured out it's difficult for them to run between the tackles, so they're trying to run it on the outside of those uh, left and right tackles and trying to spread Lima Senior out a little bit, at least bounce it to the outside because inside they've really struggled trying to get anything on the ground up the middle. They bring up third and five from the 44. Johnson will take the snap. He's going to throw back behind him. And, Oops. And a nice job by Senior High. That is Jalen Webster. Jalen Webster with the play of the night so far as he knocked down the Rodgers receiver. And they lose yardage on that play, Gilly. What a nice play. Shot out of a cannon right there. Sure was. That's going to bring up a fourth down. And let's see what Toledo Rodgers does here with the ball at the 48. They don't want to give you don't want to give Lima Senior a short field. We know what they can do offensively sure. and quick. Yeah, exactly. So Marquise Wesley will come in to punt the ball away. Lima Senior will put two deep. They will put number four Kalik Wash back. It's really hard to read those numbers on those black jerseys. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and the pink stands out. There's no question. Boog Wilson is on the left. Back. So another delay a game. And, and again, I don't think that bothers I don't think it does Rogers. Either. I don't think it does either. They want to use every second that they can off that clock. It's only a minus five yards here than a and it's, yeah, And it's a midfield. Too. Absolutely. So Marquise Wesley will get back into punt formation. He's standing on the 35 yard line. Boog Wilson. And Walsh are back on the 20 yard line. Yeah, who do you kick to? <laughs> right. Both of them are electric. Oh, and a bad snap, boy. a real bad snap. And he gets it off. He does a nice job of just getting the ball off. And it hits at the 30 and bounces back. Very and fortunate. Yeah, real fortunate. And they're going to say that one was down to the 35. So, Billy, that, that could have been blocked. And or over his head. You wonder if uh, Coach Lawrence and his coaching staff didn't see some at halftime that they liked and uh, came after that punt. So Yeah, Wesley did a good job securing that ball going up after it at his peak and very fortunate to get that thing kicked. And now, you know, Lima Senior's got great field position. What, at about their own 37? Yeah, what a thirty-six. That. First and ten from the thirty-six. Okay. Let's see if they come out. Slinging it. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is the Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than one hundred years. Offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. This is Hall in the gun. He's going to throw across the middle, and he's got his man out there and immediately taken down. The reception made by Amari Addy, and my goodness, the. Uh, Toledo Rogers defense with a. I think that's Finn hit, now, and I think that is. Finn down, and he is, looks like he's cramped up a little bit. Maybe. Well, he was grabbing the left knee area. Yeah. So here come the medical staff. They'll come out and take a look at him, and we'll step aside. We'll be back right after these messages. So here come the Spartans. Second and seven for the minute. Hall goes across the middle, and he's got his man out there. Reception made. Another Lee's famous recipe, first down. That is Boog Wilson across the middle, and there we see the uh, outstanding Spartan wide receiver make a nice catch. Well, not only that, he threaded the needle on that one because Smith, if he'd have turned his head a little quicker, number three, but yeah, nice pitch and catch. So we'll go first and 10 from the 48. Hall looks across the middle. He's going to throw deep. His arm was hit. He's got his man out there. Oh, and it goes through the hands of Keon Smith. We did not see Keon Smith in the first half, but uh, he's out here in the second half. Yep, Keon's out there. Going to see some time. Again, the pressure up the middle Keon. came from Mr. Pearson Davis. Like you said, it appeared he got a hold of Hall's arm just a little bit. 
So that'll bring up second and 10 from the 48. Keon Smith did not play in the first half. We didn't call it a number for him. He didn't have a catch. Uh, but here he is in the second. Yeah, down. not quite sure why, partner. Yeah, I'm not real sure about that. Oh, here, heavy pressure, boy, guess who? And he is down. Oh, my goodness, Ricardo Pearson Davis. That is a 15-yard loss, Gilly. Ricardo Pearson Davis stacks Hall. Oh, my goodness. that He looked like he got shot out of a cannon. Oh, he's just wreaking havoc right now on that front five from Lima Sr. He's slithering his way right by those tackles and getting into the – a gap and B gap, and he's getting great shots at Mr. Hall. Going to bring up third and 22 from the 39 in a long. Let's long see if we see a down. bubble screen here. 7.52 to go. Clock continues to run. Lima Senior leads 8 to 6. It's homecoming 2024 for the Spartans. Oh, they got him for a delay a game. Got to delay a game, and it's going to be third and 27. Well, I think what the coaching staff now is waiting on, they're waiting to see what Rodgers is going to do defensively. Right. Boy, Gilly, you know, we said it earlier, but the Toledo Rodgers Rams are really making this an ugly game. And I don't like to use that term, but no, they really but it's are. Part of, it's, part, it's, it's part of the, the game plan, and right now it's working to their benefit, even though they're down two points. So Hall's in the gun. He takes the snap. He's under pressure. He throws across the middle, and he's got he's got his man. Number five, a nice reception by Keon Smith, and he picks up a big chunk of yardage. Takes it back to the almost to the original line of scrimmage, and it's going to bring up fourth and 11. Tackle by Pettis. So here we go, fourth and 11 from the 49-yard line. Well, and this is confidence if he's going to go for it here because if he turns the ball over on downs, that would be the third time tonight and give great field position to Rodgers. So here we go. Clock continues to run. We're down to the seven-minute mark here in the third quarter. Lima Senior leads 8-6. to six. Hall takes the snap. He's going to throw to the sidelines, and it is oh, under That's going to be a turnover that's on downs. That's going to be a turnover on downs. So credit the Rodgers Rams. And he had his man out there. He just kind of short-armed it, and it bounced on the turf, and the Rodgers Rams will take over at midfield, down 8-6 to six with 6.55 to go. Tonight's touchdown sponsor is Fat Jack's Pizza. Get the Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. That's making you hungry, isn't it, big guy? Oh, yeah. that sounds fantastic. You know, yep. last week you wanted to get a pizza after the I game. I did. You did. I had to go. I got to go tonight, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pizza man. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? 6.55 to go. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Spartan Stadium here on the campus of Lima Senior High School. And what we thought was not going to be a, re a close game has turned into an outstanding game here in the Toledo City Athletic League. You know, not to change the subject, but one of these nights we're going to have to door dash us we a are. pizza. Uh, right here to the booth. You're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> be the first duo to do it. <laughs> there's Johnson. He's under heavy pressure. He throws to the right. He's got his man out there. And there's a flag on the play. That and one might be coming yeah, back. Jalen Lee made the reception, but there may be offensive pass interference. That looked like in the area of, so let's see what they call. The officials get together on that one. Boy, the coaches from Rogers, they coach those players hard. Yes, they do. Illegal motion. When I, when I say coach them hard, I mean they're right there with them, explaining things to them and trying to correct them on the go. Here we go, first and uh, 15 from the 44-yard line. Johnson looks over at his coach, waiting for his instructions. He's got three to the right, two to the left, and now Finn comes back in the game. Finn will be offset to his right side. Good seeing him back into the football game. Johnson awaits the snap. He gives instructions to the line. There's the snap. Johnson's going to throw the right side. He's got his man out there at the 45 to the 50. And he picks up about six yards and a nice pickup there. Boy, did he get rid of that yes, quick. he did. He got it out really quick. Reception made by number 11, Marquise Wesley. We've talked about him quite a few tonight. Yeah, I would love to just hear what the speech is from Toledo Rogers. You know, you got to believe coming in. I mean, there's no pressure on them whatsoever. They just seem to be very relaxed they, they are, and, you're right. and content to milk the clock as much as they can. 
Johnson's going to throw to the right side. He's got his man out there. He's got Ja'Kai Hedspeth out there. And he is taken down by a host of Spartans. Good job by the Spartans there. Gang tackling, reacting to that, reacting to that football. You know what they're doing, Gilly? They're putting their quarterback in a really good position. He doesn't have to throw across the field. He's getting easy outs, and they're moving the ball down the field. Mr. McAllister's coming back in. Mr. The, yeah, you're the right. South Paul. You're absolutely right. Kajai McAllister is back in the game. He was hurt in the first half, and he has come back in. Maybe we're going to see this platoon situation a little more for the Rodgers Rams. Third and seven from the 48. McAllister's in the gun. He's got Hudspeth in motion. He's going to keep it himself. There goes McAllister up the middle, and he is close to a first down. Well, he yelling. faked me out. He sure did. That's going to be about fourth and about a yard and a half to two yards. You got to believe the Rodgers Rams are going to go for it across midfield. And McAllister goes out again, holding his left leg, and he is hopping off the field. Boy, that young man has had a tough night Ooh. tonight, Gilly. A tough and that's night. a long bus ride home with ice. Absolutely. Okay, partner. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Gilly. I'm, I'm going to get my quarterback out on the boundary. I'm going to let him roll out and make a decision. If there's nothing there, you got to run for it. You're fourth and two. You got enough speed. Let's see what uh, Jamar Johnson does here. I'll be very shocked if they attack inside. Oh, they're going to hand off the fin. Good and job. They're going to lose yards. Good job. And the Lima senior defense was all over that one. And another turnover on downs. And that is a momentum shifter there for the Spartans as they lead 8-6 to six with 4.02 to go in the third quarter. And Finn is down again. We've had a host of Rodgers Rams go down on the field. There's a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Back here at Spartan Stadium with 4.02 to go in the third quarter. The Lima Senior Spartans continue to hang on to a two-point lead, 8-6. to six. Gilly, if this game stopped right now, this would be the lowest uh, scoring outing of the year for the Spartans as they've had games of 35, 35, 49, 57, 51, and 56. So this is way under their 45-point average. I think Mr. Hall hears you. I think you're going to see this thing <laughs> go in the air and go in the air quite a yeah. bit. They're gonna and hand, uh, guess what? They made a liar out of me. They hand the ball off to Walsh as he gets a pickup of about six yards. So a nice job there by Kalik Walsh. Trying to loosen up that defense a little bit. Well, you know, that speed of that defensive line is what's been bothering them all night. So if you can use it against them and uh, do a little delay handoff there, that was a nice call by the Spartan offensive staff. Here goes Hall in the gun, 3.58 to go. Second and four from the 47. Hall takes the snap. He's going to give it to Boog Wilson. Boog Wilson dancing around the line. He gets across the 40 to about the 38, and he'll pick up another Lee's Famous Recipe first down. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken, home style, happens here. So here come the Spartans as they're in that hurry-up offense. Well, that's the key right there. They want to up-tempo this game and get it into their liking. They're doing it right now. Hall's going to throw across. He's got his receiver out here. This is Keon Smith, and he will be taken down right around the 30-yard line. Cunningham on the stop along with Pettis. Seven, 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 three. That'll bring up second and three from the 30. Spartans on the drive here. They lead eight to six. They look a little more relaxed on this drive, Gilly. They're yeah. getting the ball out quick, and they're moving the ball down the field here. So let's see what they can do. Hall's got three receivers off to his left. Kalik Walsh will wide out and flare at the 30-yard line. He's got one single receiver, and the ball gets away from Hall, and he's under heavy pressure, and he throws it up, and he just got that one away. But guess who was in pursuit? Ricardo Pearson Davis was all over Janias Hall. Good gravy. They brought the house His on that His speed one. on north and south is just incredible. It sure is. That'll bring up third and three from the 30. And again, two down territory, I believe, if you're the Spartans. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Here 
Here we go, third and three from the 30. Hall's in the gun. He's got three receivers to his right side. He looks across. He's going to get it to Boog Wilson in the backfield. It goes to the 25, to the 20. Wilson gets to the 15, and he'll be taken out of bounds at about the 13-yard line. Boog Wilson picks up another Lee's famous recipe. First down, and he's in the Wapakoneta Ford red zone. Wapakoneta Ford, view our new and pre-owned inventory at wapakonetaford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. Spartans on the drive. This is their best drive uh, besides the first one of the night, Gilly. Really effective with the, and here goes Hall, and he drops the ball, and it's picked up in the backfield, and he's going to scamper to the 15, to the 10, trying to get into the end zone, and Walsh gets hit and knocked down at about the five-yard line. <laughs> the ball bounced right back up to him. Kalik Walsh was Johnny on the spot, and it bounced right up to him. And they've got it in business, and they're going to mark it at the six-yard line. Bring up second and goal. Actually, second and two is what they're calling it from the six-yard line, so the Spartans can pick up a first down. Hall's in the backfield. Hall's in the gun. He's got Boog Wilson right behind him. Oh, the center moved. The center did move. I saw that. Big number 50 there for the Spartans. Jonathan Tummel uh, moved when he was set to hike the ball. Let to bring up second and seven from the 11. Hall's got Boog Wilson right behind him in the backfield. He takes the snap. He's going to hand it to Wilson. Wilson goes to the 10. He gets to the 5. He's trying to get to the corner of the end zone, and he will. That's Boog a great effort Wilson right there. Gets a Fat Jack's Pizza touchdown. Boog Wilson, the senior, scores the touchdown, and he makes it 14 to 6 with 157 to go. Gilly, dare I say, that's, Lima that's Senior needed that. that. That's, yeah. that's athleticism right there at his best. And once he turned the corner, it was nothing but you know, get to that pylon, and yeah, that that's a touchdown that Lima Senior, you know, desperately yeah. needed tonight and from you, a momentum standpoint. Yeah, you heard the crowd let out a sigh of relief. Yes, because they, they've there's been a little very bit of a quiet. cushion. Yeah, a little bit of a cushion now with a with an eight point lead here. So Lima Senior is going to go for two, try to extend that to a ten point lead. And Hall is looking over at the coaching staff, waiting. And they're waiting on, looks like they're waiting on Emmanuel joking in Roots to come in. And they're going to try an extra point here. We saw him at halftime working on his kicking. Freshman place kicker. Snap is back, hold is good, and the kick is up. And it is good. So with 1.57 to go, the Lima Senior Spartans lead the Toledo Rogers fans 15 to 6. We're back right after these messages. Welcome back to Spartan Stadium. Our time on sponsor tonight are Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future, call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So the Lima Senior Spartans put one in the end zone. They make it 15-6, to Gilly, and they got to feel good about that drive. They, they looked really good. They got to feel real good about that drive. They kept, you know, they they, they were fortunate. The ball went on the, on the field twice, but uh, they did a good job recovering it, and... Uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, got a touchdown and right. onside kick here. Now, yeah. now you're putting Woodward in a position. <laughs> did it again. <laughs> did it again. Putting Rodgers in a position where yeah. they've got to take the football and they've got to drive the thing 55 yards. And another Rodgers ram is down on the field. This looks like Jekiah Hudspeth. Or is that? It uh, looks like Johnson. Is you're it right. Johnson? It, I thought it was number 80. You're right. It is. It is. Jamar Johnson, and if that's the case, both of the quarterbacks dinged up. are dinged up. So you're waiting to see what's going to happen here. And we don't want to confuse anybody, but you made a statement earlier, and I'll reiterate it. You know, Mark Shine, who does a fabulous job for WOSN, reaching out to the schools. You know, we got everything we needed from Lima Senior, and, you know, on two different occasions, he reached out to Toledo Rogers. So, you know, we have two different what right. rosters yeah. we have kids not listed 
Denver uh, and, 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 and one of, Yeah, one of our guys from WSN went over to check uh, on an injury update on the sideline, and the coaches told that he said, we switch jerseys uh, every now and then. So it's I, I don't understand what that means. I'm I, not sure what. I don't know how you can switch jerseys. I don't know what the purpose yeah. is about that, but, yeah, that's – and that could be an excuse. That could be one just to cover everything sure. up. Sure. From a media standpoint, we don't know, but that was the word we were given. So here we go. First and 10 from the 43. And My goodness, look who's now quarterback. Here we go. And number seven, Ricardo Pearson Davis is in the quarterback position. We have saw him all night on that defensive front for the Rodgers Rams. We've talked about his athleticism all night, so it makes sense that he would be the third string quarterback. You think he's going to be a problem for the next uh, two uh, years? He's going to be a really good player in this league. They've got him listed as a defensive lineman. 5'11", 150 pounds. He's a, he's yeah. a fantastic athlete. If if that's who it is. Right. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a great point. Jamar Johnson comes back in the game for the Rams. And he's got two to the right, two to the left. He's got a single back. He's got Finn in the backfield. He's got Hudspeth in motion. He's going to throw to Hudspeth behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, and he's my goodness. blown up, absolutely blown up by number 31, Jaden Jones. My goodness, Gilly, you don't play it any better than that. Yeah, what's that? That's a D-cleater. <laughs> that is a D-cleater. And all the momentum right now is on Lima Senior's sideline. As we Isn't it amazing when you you know push the football into the end zone and get a touchdown? It just changes everything. How momentum can yeah. change and swing. The crowd on the home side is in a good mood right now. The players. There goes Hudspeth in motion again. Johnson's going to throw down the right side. He's got his man out there, and he just overshoots him. His intended target was number 11, Marquise Wesley, and he comes up Lane Gilly. He's walking with a little bit of a limp. It's been a physical game tonight. There's no question. Onside kicks, and you got four or five uniforms running at you at 100 miles an hour. You better protect yourself. Open field tackles. So with 38 seconds to go, fourth and 15, Rodgers will go back in punt formation. Kalik Walsh and Book Wilson will go back deep for Lima Senior. They stand about the 28-yard line. And the punt is up in the air, and it is low line drive. Not and quite sure how that one was not blocked. But it's going to yeah. get rid of it. It's going to roll down nice to punt. the 23-yard line. That's where the senior high Spartans will start at with 28 mm -hmm. seconds to go in the third mm -hmm. quarter. You can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wsn.tv. I want to thank our presenting sponsor tonight, Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. And a big thank you to Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years, with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. They are our scoreboard sponsor. Can't do it without the sponsors. No, brother. We get thank a lot you of, to yeah, them. Absolutely. We get a lot of and a lot of great ones every each and every week. So here come the they keep growing. They do. They do. They like our product. That's a good thing. <laughs> First and ten from the 23. Hall's in the gun. He's got Boog Wilson off to his right side. He's going to throw to Wilson, who catches it in the backfield. He goes across the 20, to the 25, to the 30. Gets around the boundary, and it'll be pushed out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. And there you see the explosiveness of the senior, Boog Wilson. Talked to that, man, uh, that young man a couple weeks ago on the radio show, Gilly, and he is an impressive young man and uh, really, really like him and his game. He gets the football in his hands. He's you know gone. What? He is gone. Yeah, you better be prepared to defend him because if he gets by you, Good you night. ain't going to catch him. Here we go, five wide. Hall gets the, gun, or gets the ball. He's looking across. He throws – and it looked like uh, Amari Addy was breaking towards the ball, and Janias Hall just threw it to the outside. So a miscommunication. Yeah, there. they're fortunate because I'll tell you what. If that gets picked off, that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown on a pickoff right there. It looks like Senior High is trying to bait Mr. Pearson Davis right now. 
So here go the Spartans, second and 10 from the 33 with 15 seconds to go in the third quarter. Hall's gonna take the snap. He's gonna hand it off to Amontre Davis as he goes across the midfield. He gets to the 45 and he gets upended at about the 43 yard line. So the speedster Amontre Davis, the freshman, carries the ball across the midfield for another lease. Famous recipe, first down, and the Spartans are across midfield and in business again. Upended by Gilvarian Smith. If Mr. Smith does not get him at the ankles, he's going. It was going to be a foot race between him and Pearson Davis. And that'll be the last play of the third quarter. So after three quarters of play from Spartan Stadium, the Lima Senior Spartans lead the Toledo Rogers Rams 15 to 6. We'll have fourth quarter action right after these messages. Our fourth quarter sponsor is Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We're proud to call this home. So, Gilly, we start the fourth quarter here. The Spartans up 15 to 6. They threaten again. They get across midfield. And, uh, boy, if they could put one here early, yeah, that would this be, could go a be long the, way. This could be a dagger right here. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because then you're going to make Rodgers change their game plan or you would think it would at least make them speed their tempo up a little bit, which would play right in the hands of the Spartans. So they'll go first and 10 from the 43. Hall is in the gun. He's got four receivers split wide and Boog Wilson on the left side. Hall's going to take the snap. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got his man out there, and the reception is made as he goes across the 40 to about the 36-yard line, and the reception was made by number five, Keon Smith. So they keep the pressure on with those quick passes. And, and I really like the game plan here in the second half by the Spartans. Gilly, they were going downfield a lot. They're, they're going side to side now, and they're letting their athletes get in space, and I really like mm -hmm. the adjustments they've made. Yeah, they're going to the shorter look, the swing pass out into the flat. Hall's going to throw to Walsh. She goes to the 40, to the 35. He spins to the 30, to the 25. What a play. Nice job by Kalik Walsh as he made a big-time play. Yeah, Pearson Davis on the stop along with number 54. Not sure who that is. Yeah, the tempo. You know, obviously right now starting to swing in senior high's favor. Amontre Davis is in the backfield and a, a high snap. And <laughs> Janias Hall did a great job of the snap was high and Janias Hall brings it down and just says, hey, I'm going to throw this one away and live to play another down. So that'll bring up second and 10 from the 22. Nobody's left this game early, Gilly. There are a lot of people here tonight on the home side. In fact, the visitor side's got a few more people than when we started this. Let's see what the Spartans are drawing up here. So Montre Davis is in the backfield. Uh, a little wild. No. Hall's under pressure as he I, rolls. I was going to say Wildcat look, but I got confused yeah. with eight and nine there. Janias Hall just throws it away. There's a little bit of confusion there in the backfield. <laughs> Excuse me. He puts him in third and long yeah, situation. Third and 10 from the 22. Well, whatever happens tonight, and, and it appears as if things go this way, that Lima Senior will get a win, but a lot of credit to the Toledo Rogers Rams. They played a good game tonight and a good game plan. A lot of time left, partner. Anything Absolutely. can happen. Absolutely. But you you, you got to give a lot of kudos and a lot of shout outs to the coaching staff of Hall goes across the middle and he's Rogers got his man. And, and he's got Keon Smith. That's and a beautiful Keon move. Smith is going to take it in for a Fat Jacks touchdown. Keon Smith makes his present no, presence known as he scores on a slant pattern and he takes it into the end zone with 10.42 to go and the Spartans lead 21-6. Yeah, it just makes you want to believe, wonder, you know, he didn't play much the first, actually, I think you said he didn't see the yeah, he didn't the play field in, the, yeah, first he didn't play in the first half. So uh, whether that was an injury or whatever happened, uh, he is out there now and he is a difference maker. So Lima Senior will line up to go for two. 
Hall takes the snap. He's going to roll to his right, and he throws in the end zone, and it's good. A two-point conversion, and the reception was made. And let's see who got that. That was Khalid Walsh. You're right. With 10.42 to go in the fourth quarter, the Lima Senior Spartans lead 23-6. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Back here at Spartan Stadium with 10.42 to go. The line of senior Spartans put it in the end zone again in a much-needed touchdown as they lead 23-6. to And they will try another onside kick, Gilly. Uh, we talked to Coach Lawrence a couple weeks ago, and he said he loves the onside kick. And the probability of winning if you recover two of them is huge. They've recovered one tonight, and here we go again. So there's another high bounce, and uh, it is secured by Jalen Lee for Toledo Rodgers. Tonight's timeout sponsors are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. The Red Zone sponsor, Wapakoneta Ford. View our new and pre-owned inventory, WapakonetaFord.net, or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. So, Gilly, it's hard to believe that here we are, week seven of the high school football season, and it is just flying by, my friend. It is, and the weather's still nice. Let's oh. hope it's like that when the playoffs start here on November. I got to look at the date, partner. <laughs> Let me look at the date. Yeah, we, uh, we're, we're heading into the home stretch here. Well, November the 1st. Yeah, it's just it's going to be right down the road, Gilly. So here come the Rams. They're down 23 to 6 with 10.39 to go. Jamar Johnson is under center. They'll go two to the left, three to the right, and they'll have a man in motion. That's Hudspeth. And Johnson under heavy pressure, and he's trying to roll out of it. And he gets away from the Spartan defenders. He's going to throw it down the field, and he's got it. He's got a man at the 40, and that is number 80, Ja'Kai Hudspeth. Great athleticism right there by. Johnson escaping the pressure by the Spartans. So, partner, one play, and here go the uh, Rams as they take it to the 38-yard line. So, yeah, there's benefits of onside kicks, but there's also, uh, you know, trappings there as you uh, give them the ball at midfield. And one play, they're at the 38-yard line already. Yeah, that was all Johnson, not only with his legs, but his ability to find his teammate. Johnson's going to throw the left, and he just – Bounces it off the turf. The intended target was Marquise Wesley. He didn't want any part of that ball. No, he was going to get hammered. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, you know, somebody took a lick in earlier, and I think he was one of the guys blocking. He's like, mm, no. And it was down below his knees. <laughs> Here we go, second and 10 from the 38. 10-17 to go. And Johnson's in the gun. He's got a single back to his left. He's going to take the snap. He looks across the field. He's going to roll to his left. He's under heavy pressure. He's going to throw deep down the middle, and he's got his man. He's got sure his man does. at the 15, and a reception made by Gilvarian Smith. The 5'9", 165-pound junior just plays center field and catches that one. A nice job. Maxwell on the stop for the Spartans, but like you said, not until a Ram first down, and here comes the Rams. Here we go with 10.02 to go. A lot Clock of time left. You're right, partner. Clock is under 10 minutes now. Johnson's in the gun. He's going to take the snap. He's going to hand off, and here they go as he tries to get around the right side. Nothing doing, and that was number 23, Nakai Adams carried the ball. At least that's who we think it is. Yeah, that's who we think it is. <laughs> do know is Nixon James on the stop. And you know what? They're moving the football, but when you give them good field position at midfield, you know, right now they're driving the ball down the field. They're putting themselves in a position where they're giving themselves an opportunity to get six points. Second 11 from the 19. Johnson's going to throw deep to the right side, and he throws it out of the back of the end zone. Looked like a Lima senior defensive lineman may have jumped. Uh, I did not see a flag, but the Rodgers offensive linemen were pointing over there, and apparently he did not. So no, no flag on the play. Yeah, I'm not so sure why he went to the right pylon versus the left side in the one-on-one -on -one match. They must have thought they had something. But the problem was they were throwing into double-team coverage over here. 
I'll tell you what, Gilly, for my money, Ricardo Pearson Davis would be on that offensive side of the ball, especially in these situations. He's such a good athlete. As at a wide receiver, yeah. even a slot. Absolutely. So here's Johnson, looks across the field. He's going to tuck it under. He's under heavy pressure. And he oh is going to be – oh, no, he oh, fumbles he the ball. The but it is recovered by number 55, Jalen Pittman. Johnny on the spot to pick it up. Boy, that had everything, Gilly. <laughs> How about Jalen on the spot? Because if he doesn't get that, senior high was licking their lips right there, big oh, fella, yeah, to pick absolutely. one up and roam that thing. <laughs> You're absolutely right. 64 yards for a touchdown or 74 yards. I can't even get my math right. <laughs> That's going to bring up fourth and 18 from the 27-yard line, so a big loss there. 73 yards, actually. So the Rodgers Rams down 23 to 6. And this is a How big, big play. Was that? Yeah, it was huge. It was huge. Great pressure there by the Spartans. And let's give the Lima senior defense a lot of credit. Oh. They played really well this fourth second, this the second, second half. half. Yes, Absolutely. they have. And they're gonna take a timeout with 8.19 to go. We're gonna step aside, we'll take a timeout. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Spartan Stadium with 8.19 to go. And Toledo Rogers facing a long fourth and 18 from the 27-yard line. Johnson is in the gun. He's got a single back to his left. And the senior high Spartans jump the gun there, and that'll bring it up five yards. So encroachment there by Tavion James. Boy, they, <laughs> you right. think that was obvious? Yeah, those defensive linemen from Lima Senior have played a nice second half, and they're getting after it here. Just jumping Pin the gun a little bit. Back and <laughs> they sure are. Them. They sure are. Well, they got five of it back. Now they're down to what? Fourth, fourth and 13. Yeah, fourth and 13 from the 22 as we look over at the Web Insurance scoreboard. Johnson drops the ball, oh boy. and it's going to be picked up by Senior High. They're going to take it down the field. This is number three, Tavion James, as he goes down the left side. He's got nothing but green grass. Is he going to make it? He gets to the five. Touchdown, Lima Senior. He sure did. Uh, Fat Jacks, touchdown for the Spartans. Are you kidding me? A fumble on the play, and Tavion James, Johnny on the spot, scoops it up. And he goes almost 80 yards for the touchdown to give the senior high Spartans the 29-6 lead. Well, and that's a situation where Johnson has to try to pick the ball up. Sure. It's fourth down and 13. You don't teach that, but the kid was trying to make a play. We give a lot of credit to Tavion James. He's the young man that got jumped jumped the line of scrimmage for the encroachment, come right back and made a big Boy, play. You want to talk about atonement. Tavion James gets the uh, penalty, the play before, and then comes back and scoops it up and scores from 67 yards. I said 80 yards on the play. He What's scored Berman, from 67. Chris say rumbling, bumbling, Rumble. stumbling. <laughs> That's right. Took a nosedive right into that red end zone down there. <laughs> nice play by the young man. What a play. And the senior high Spartans firmly in control of this one. And they'll go for two here. I like these uh, formations Lima Senior puts you up. They spread you out on the field for these two-point conversions. Hall's going to keep it himself. He looks to the right, and he throws off, and it is almost picked off, and that is no good for the two-point conversion. So with 8.06 to go in the fourth quarter, the Lima Senior Spartans lead. The Toledo Rogers Rams 29-6. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Spartan Stadium. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert on the campus of Lima Senior High School where the Lima Senior Spartans have taken this one over here in the fourth quarter as they lead 29-6. It was a tight game, Gilly, at halftime, 8-6, but credit Lima Senior for coming out with a really nice game plan in the second half. Well, a lot of it, you know, is the kids and their athleticism. You get it to the playmakers. The playmakers make plays. We've seen that uh, with... Keon Smith and Boog Wilson, uh, big time players here in the second half, doing a great job. So Lima Senior set to onside kick it again and trying to come up with the ball with 8.06 to go here in the fourth quarter. And 
And the ball is on the turf, and it looks like Rodgers will get the onside kick. And they'll take over at about the 45-yard line. So, boy, I'll tell you what, Gilly, you're on the onside kick team. There's some vicious hitting <laughs> down there. We've seen guys get hurt all night I'm down there. I was thinking the movie. Is it Waterboy that they, that they looked at the, kicked it to one kid on the onside kick? And yeah. he was shaking. His eyes were big. Well, it's, it's kind of like in high school volleyball when you find that one person that can't really – receive the serve and you go after them and they've been going after these guys on the on the on the right side all night for Rodgers. You just drill it at them and yeah. hopefully they don't come up with it and if you're on the receiving end of it hopefully you can get down on the ground and secure it. Tonight's presenting sponsor is Lima Chevy Cadillac. The area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area serving Lima for 100 years. We're proud to call this home. So 8.04 to go here, partner, in the fourth quarter. Lima Senior continues to lead 29-6. Rogers desperately needing something big to happen here in the fourth quarter as they take over from the 46-yard line. Johnson's going to – no, this is Ricardo Pearson Davis as he goes across the 45 to the 50, and he's thrown out of bounds and close to another first down. Yeah, I'm like you. I like that kid on both sides of the ball. Boy, he is athletic as all get out. And but he's also exerted so much doggone energy on the defensive side of the ball. I'd like to see the stats of the game the young man has, has played defensively. Defensively, he's been the uh, oh. he's been the best player on that Rodgers team. He's wreaked havoc, there's no question. That'll bring up second and four from the 48. Pearson Davis will take the ball, and he's going to roll off to his right side. He's under heavy pressure, and he is going to be taken down by a whole lot of Lima Senior Spartans, and they'll blow the whistle dead on that one. Pearson Davis is slow to get up. Well, that Lima Senior defense is getting faster, Gilly. You know, their, their defensive average is they only give up 17 a game right now. Uh, they gave up a high of 31 this year to Finley, uh, but most of the time they've, they've kept scores down. Their last three games they gave up 14, 14, and a shutout last week against Woodward. Well, there's no question that the second half, their ability to slow down. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, Rodgers. That's a great point. Has, yeah. has, has turned the, the complexion of the game around to get the ball in the Lima Senior's offense. This is Johnson back under center. He's going to keep it himself, and he rolls to the 50, and he'll be pushed out of bounds at about the 48-yard about line, pushed out of bounds by Hardesty. number 23, Hardesty. Max and Hardesty. Homecoming here at Lima Senior tonight, all the homecoming festivities before the game. Congratulations to those men and women on the homecoming court. It was a nice festivities, Gilly, and uh, they had great weather for it tonight. They did. I'm going to have a big weekend. Congratulations to those young two individuals. King and queen. King yeah. and queen. Couldn't set it better myself. There's Johnson with a deep throw down the side, and he's got his man. He's got him. And a nice reception made. He'll be down at the 10-yard line. Is Hudspeth? Reception made by Hudspeth. And, boy, he just outran those defensive backs. Really. I think it was Hudspeth. It, no, actually, it was Marquise okay. Wesley. Okay. Marquise Wesley. Nice pass, nice catch. Clock continues to run. We're at six minutes and ten seconds left in this one. Rogers down 29 to six. Johnson will go back in the gun. He's got Finn off to his left side. He's got trips to the left, a wide out, far wide receiver on the right side. And Johnson looking to throw the ball, and he throws it across the middle. And he has his man, Marquise Wesley, but he has knocked down violently at the five-yard line. Boy, that was a big-time hit, Gilly. Yeah, I'm trying to see who that was. It just nosedived down at the knee area, a legal play. I, it appeared to be, like you said, it's hard to read them numbers. It looked like it was Darius Routson. Boy, they were coming with the safety blitz there, too, and mm, the right sure tackle might have got away with a little one-handed bear well, hug. Yeah, a little bit of a bear hug there. There goes Johnson in the gun. He's got trips to the left, a far single receiver to the right side. 
Johnson looks across the field. He's going to step up in the pocket under heavy pressure. And he's going to be taken down, sacked by a host of Lima senior Spartans. And they have really dominated this second half, that defensive front for the Spartans. The big fella, number 55, Curtis Pollard, the senior, six foot, 305 pounds. And, and Gilly, let, let's just, you know, let's just talk about it now. Th this is a good win for senior in the fact that they weren't able to blow them out. They had to really bear down. And this is a really good win for, I don't care what anybody says. This it is, is a, a good yeah, win. It's a good win in a tough situation against a really good game plan. Yeah, they fought through some things the first half that they're not accustomed to and you know, they're going to get a W tonight, and they're going to watch that film, and, you know, hopefully they learn from the film and, and carry it forward as they get ready to wind the season down and get ready for the playoffs. And Johnson misses his intended target. That was Jekai Hudspeth with 4.16 to go. That'll bring up fourth and nine. But I, but I like the composure of the kids from Lima Senior. They, they struggled in the first half. And, you, you know, we heard the grumblings in the crowd, eight to six at halftime. Even the folks coming in the booth, boy, they haven't, weren't used to this. And sure. some of the guys up here in the media said, you know, what's going on? But, boy, Coach Lawrence and his staff got them together, and uh, they've done a nice job and in the see, second here's half. here's what I like about the, the defensive side of the ball. They're bending, but they're not breaking. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a great point. They seem to come up with a play to neutralize, and they've done that, especially the second half. Here we go, fourth and nine from the 12. Johnson's in the gun. He's got Finn off to his right. He's going to throw out. He misses him. He misses his intended target, and that was intended for Marquise Wesley, and it'll go back to Lima Senior. Well, I think that has a lot to do with the pressure that, that Rodgers has faced this second half. You know, Johnson has not had time. McAllister's been dinged up. And that's a lot. That's a credit to the first level and second level players of Lima Senior. And the secondary guys are going to hit you too. Absolutely, yeah. Lima Senior will go to 7-0 on the year, 3-0 in the Toledo City Athletic League. And the Toledo Rogers Rams will fall to 2-5 and 2-2 and and overall in the Toledo City Athletic League. And, you know, their, their hope is Lima Seniors, they want that top four spot you know, to, to be able to host two games at this beautiful facility. And they've got to get some breaks with the teams that's on their schedule because we talked about in pregame, you know, 10 and what would what, we say, 10 and 33 or 10 yeah, and 35. Yeah. You know, they've got to get some breaks and get some teams to win some games to slide up or get one of those first five spots because right now, right now I think they were ranked six. Yeah, they were. And if they can slide into that four spot. But you can, they can't control that. Sure. You cannot control You play that. the teams you've got in front of you. You've yeah. got to play the teams you play. Hopefully you catch a break that one of those teams get hot, like a team like this tonight. Can they get a couple more wins because they get that second-level point? But, yeah, they're sitting at six. They're going to be – got to believe they're going to get at least one game. But, by golly, it would be great to have two, great to get for, two at home, for yeah. Allen County and for, for sure. the city of Lima. Absolutely. Join myself, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as we discuss local football matchups, Buckeye football, and sports all across the state of Ohio. WSN's newest podcast, The Three Wise Men. No jokes about that name, I didn't Gilly. say anything. I saw the grin. I, I thought saw about the it. Grin. I thought about it, but I'm just going to keep. Keep it to myself. <laughs> Here's Hall in the gun, first and 10 from the 12-yard line. He's looking across. He's got a deep route down the middle, Ooh. and he's got Kalik Walsh. He yeah, is gone. gone. He catches it at midfield in stride, and Kalik Walsh is gone. He's got another Fat Jacks pizza touchdown. Lima Senior. My goodness, Killy. Yeah, everything's working right I now. I was quiet <laughs> because I'll tell you what, that safety had a beat on him, and I thought he was going to – just lay the wood to him, and wow, that's a great catch by Walsh. Because I'm telling you, somebody was bearing down on him, and great catch and great sprint to the end zone. Absolutely, that'll bring up Lima Senior going for. I believe they'll go for two here. We'll see if they go for two. Then we turn it into a running clock, Gilly. It's 35 6. 30 is the clock number everybody's always looking for. And 
and Hall, yeah, they're, they're going to go for two. So we'll see what happens here. Hall takes the snap. He's going to throw it to the end zone. And a catch was made. Did he get it in? And he got it in bounds. Are you kidding me? My goodness. And I got to get a number on that. That's Smith. Is it Smith? Yeah, that's Smith. What a catch. And he gets his feet down in the end zone. Cameron, it was Cameron Nix, number six, or I don't know, number five for the Spartans. Keon Smith, you're absolutely right. My goodness, what a catch. <laughs> that's going to make it 37 to six. And we got a running clock now with 3.53 to go here in the football game. You can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download, down, excuse me, download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wsn.tv. Big thanks to Jacob O'Neill tonight. Uh, he kept you and I sounding pretty good. The, jakes, and, uh, the jakester yeah. comes through again in the yeah, clutch. He does. He, he's, he's everywhere and uh, even got me a Gatorade before the game tonight. So. He asked me coming up and I said I already had something, but much appreciated. So Lima Senior up 37 to 6. They're going to try another onside kick with 3.53 to go here. And they'll line up, try to get the ball back. And the clock will go, and it will not stop unless of an injury or change of possession. And Rodgers, the ball's on the turf, and I believe Toledo Rodgers recovered the ball. The ball got away from the first guy, number 24, Joshua Cunningham, was the first man who went after the ball, and it kind of rolled away from him, but it was recovered by the guy behind him, and uh, Toledo Rodgers will take over at about the 43-yard line. Big thank you to our touchdown sponsor tonight, Fat Jack's Pizza. Get the Fat Jack's Pizza before or after the game and enjoy their delicious pizza, fun games, and ice cold drinks. So a late one here tonight, Gilly. Late one tonight. A late one tonight. And we will be down in Minster next weekend. You and I will for Versailles Minster, a big Mac matchup. So looking forward to that matchup. Yeah, week eight. Week eight. Hand off to Finn right up the middle and nothing doing there. Get treated great when we go to Minster. You and I have been down there several times. The good folks down there in Wildcat Country take care of us every time oh, we get down there. Oh, beautiful press box. Yep, they take care of us. Absolutely. That clock's going to keep on running, and I think Rogers is going to be happy to uh, get out of here and uh, regroup. Long bus ride back up 75. <clears throat> Ethan me. Hughes on the stop for the Spartans. Special thanks to Mr. John Zell, the athletic director here at Lima Senior. Take care of us, yeah. Dennis Williams. They take care of us, boy. Yes, they, they do a do. nice job. It's a beautiful facility, Gilly. This is as good a facility as we see all year. You betcha. And they do a great job here. Here goes Finn as he tries to get around the left side, and he tries to cut it back up the middle, and he'll be taken down by a host of Spartans, and they'll keep that clock running. We're down to 2.05 to go here in the game. I think it's James and Hardesty on the stop. Big thank you to all of our sponsors tonight. Lima Chevy Cadillac, Metzger Financial Services, Web Insurance Agency, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Fat Jack's Pizza, and Wapakoneta Ford. We couldn't do it without you folks. We so much appreciate you, and we enjoy bringing you high school football and high school basketball and all the high school events here in the Lima land. So we'll go third and 10 from the 43-yard line. And they're going to let that play clock go down. It's down to two, and they'll snap it with one second to go, and they'll hand the ball off. And it looks like that's Nakai Adams who will go down a gain of maybe, maybe two yards. I'm bring up fourth and ten. Shot or excuse me, fourth and stop. Fourth and seven. So Rodgers will go back into punt formation as we are under one minute of play here. 
Lima Senior leads 37 to 6. They'll send, send the Spartans will send a couple back to about the 30 yard line. They're going to take a delay a game. Boy, how quick did the momentum shift? It sure did. It sure did. That first touchdown in the second half where Lima Senior kind of got a little bit of a cushion and you could see him feeling good about themselves. The mojo. Yeah, absolutely. Momentum's a huge shift here. And uh, you saw Lima Senior really take control in the second half, do a nice job. A 30-point win is a good win when they're up two at halftime. So uh, a lot of credit goes to that Lima Senior Spartan team. They did a nice job in the second half. So they're going to let this one end just as it is, 37-6, to 6, with five seconds to go. And that'll do it from Spartan Stadium. The Lima Senior Spartans win 37-6. to 6. Gilly, your thoughts as we end this one? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, like, like we talked about, Lima Senior is going to control their own destiny, you know, the rest of the way in, into the – the conference, you know, they've got the leg up to get that back-to-back -back championship, and then obviously they're looking towards the playoffs. I know coaches don't share that with their players, but as a coaching staff, you do, and they need a little bit of help. But uh, you only play, you can only play what is brought in front of you. But uh, nice win for them, great second half. Defense stepped it up. They did, they, they bent, but they didn't break, and. Uh, you know, I'm going to say this about Rodgers. They come in here, they, they, you know, they did what they had to do, for, especially the first half, you know, controlling the clock, uh, time management, uh, the plays they ran, uh, mixing it up defensively versus Lima Senior, and Lima Senior made the adjustments. And like you said, they took it and spread it to a 31-point game. But, uh, you know, hats off to, to Rodgers and – Congratulations to the Lima Seniors. They moved to 7-0 with three games left. And before you know it, November 1st is going to be here, partner. We're yeah. going to be doing playoff football. Absolutely. WSN and WTLW. You are absolutely right. For Jacob O'Neill, our cameraman. For Darren Gilbert, I'm Danny Holbrook saying thank you for watching High School Football on WSN. We'll see you next week.